Hello everyone, and welcome to Pokemon Ranger for the DS, the first one of a series of three spin-off games that were pretty dang good from what I understand. I only ever played the first one, this one here, but that was so ch such a long time ago I don't even remember anything about it. But for why here, this is a pretty cool little sub-series, and we're going to be checking it out for, of course, St. Baldrick's Catch a Million to Conquer Kids Cancer event, a charity event to raise $100,000 across five, uh, seven days, uh, m multiple streamers catching Pokemon, raising charity money to try to deal with cancer research for children. Uh, of course, this is the last day of the charity, and we have in fact hit our our, our local goal of $1,000 have been hit today, uh, thanks to the generous donations of everyone throughout the week uh, supporting the charity. I'm very glad we hit our goal, and uh, this is kind of a victory lap, I suppose. Uh, if you want to donate more to the charity, you're definitely free to, though. We can overfill that bar. There's nothing wrong with that. So if you guys want to raise a bit more for that money, uh, feel free. Because it's a it's a very large overall goal. I, I hope they reach it. I guess we'll find out after the end of today, because this is the last day of the charity. But, yeah, Ranger, you guys voted on the second place after Pokemon Pinball. But since we've played all the pinball games at this point, let's play a little Ranger as well. Second place winner. Um, of course, before we begin... If you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, think about coming over to Twitch. We're trying to reach your partner over here. But we need more viewers to do that. So, if you want to come by, whether it's the Lurk or to talk, think about doing so because it really does help out. It makes a world of difference and it's nice to talk to new people. Uh, such as, uh, oh, I'm so bad at names, but we have a new viewer today, for instance. Uh, what was his name? What was his name? Ah, names! We've been having, yeah, Tulsi. Tulsi came by today and uh, <laughs> has been chatting things up. It's been nice to have some new new, new chat blood. Uh, that's a weird way of putting it. Fresh blood in the chat. Uh, there, uh, I guess that's a phrase. But yeah, come on by if you feel like it. We also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content, though for today I recommend donating to the charity if you can. Until it ends, anyways. Uh, but that's there if you need, want it. And I also have a merch store if you want to buy some cool stuff. All links are in the description. Check them out if you feel like it. Including the charity link. Even if you miss it, you can definitely still look at the link to check out to get prepped for next year. Because it's a yearly event. I'm going to check it out next year myself. But I have Ranger here set up. This is a DS game, so I had to get all funky and weird with the setup. I think it looks pretty good, though. Uh, let's go ahead and... So I also have a nice little feature if you look at my mouse here. I changed my mouse cursor, so it is actually the capture thingamabobber that you have in this game to catch Pokemon. Uh, it's that, it's that is an icon now, because why not? It's appropriate. Uh, I also, I'm doing something bizarre. I wasn't sure how to play this, because it's really weird how to figure out how to play a DS game on emulation. Obviously, using the mouse for the stylus makes sense, but then what do you do with the rest of your controls? Most people use keyboard, but I heard this mad lad here that combined mouse and controller. So I'm going to be using my controller, left side of my controller in my left hand. I'm going to be using that and the mouse. Let's see how it works out, I suppose. But for starters, tech speed fast, and I want a window that is purple. There we go. Let's start a new game. Actually, I, by the way, raise of hands, who here has not seen the Ranger games? You desire to help people in need. You have the qualification to become a Pokemon Ranger. I've only ever played the first one, but they all seem pretty cool. Invitation. Your strong motivation to become a Pokemon Ranger. How you live in harmony with Pokemon and strive to protect nature every day. How you selflessly go to the help of those in need. How you've trained and built your body to become a Ranger. I did bodybuilding just for this. All this I've come to understand and appreciate for the seven letters you've sent me. Why seven? And we were very insistent. Please let me join. No, please let me join. No, I'm going to send another one. Please let me join. I'd like to meet you. I want to see for myself. You're really worthy of becoming a ranger. I'll be waiting for you in Fall City next Sunday. Hey, it's Sunday right now. Huh. You'll find and close the ticket for the ferry to Fall City in an official Pokemon Ranger uniform. Wear it and wait for me in the harbor. That uniform on, I won't have any trouble spying you. I look forward to seeing you. Best regards, Spencer. Ringtown Ranger Leader. The only thing I know about the Ranger games is the fan base is neglected. Here's what I know. The first Ranger game, I recall fond memories, but I don't really remember any details. And I also know that at least one of the later Ranger games has one of the best written evil teams. Hilarious dialogue lines. 
absolutely hilarious. Jaden Animations, as I'm sure some people watch watch her. She does a whole bunch of animated stuff involving video games. She covered Shadows of Almia, I believe, and uh, went over how the evil team Dim Sun was, like, hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> um, so I, I can tell the Ryan is good, at least in the later games. I don't know about the first game, though. We'll see. So are you a warrior girl? I want to be a boy today, I have decided. Yeah. Papa, hurry, hurry! I think I okay. So let me figure out what my I, I set up the controls in such a way that makes sense, but I don't remember what button does what. I think it's this to advance text. Yeah, I'm using the left shoulder button for advancing text conf confirming. It's full city, full city. Whoa, hold up! There's no need to get so excited. Full city isn't going to run away on us or anything like that. Hmm. Foreshadowing. It's gonna it's gonna sink to the bottom of the ocean. All right, so. Yeah, you can actually use the stylus and click to move around. But I also can use traditional controls. I'm going to use a mix, personally. Hello, Krabby. Buck, buck, buck. Are you trying to be a chicken? Buck, 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 buck! Oh, hi, Pokemon Ranger. Did you destroy the cruise? Just between you and me, I'm a sailor. And then stop me from getting a little seasick. See, I might look like a proper sailor, but I'm still an apprentice. Apprentice sailor? Is that a thing? Oh, you're just starting out too. Well, how about that? Even though we're heading different directions, let's both do our best to find success. Is there running in this? I actually don't think so. Lapras guy. The blue, blue sea. The white cap waves. And my blue and white shirt. On a day this spectacular, I'd like nothing more than a leisurely cruise on my Lapras. It is indeed a lap press. Pool. If there is running, remind me how. You there, yes, you youngster. This isn't your first time here, is that is that not so? And why would I think so? Because you know how to move using a stylus and a touch screen. Jokes on you, I'm using a D-pad, theoretically. You should know that you could also walk about yeah, exactly. As for me, I always use my stylus for getting around. You know, I'm from the touch generation. We don't know personal space. But that's just me. People can do whatever they want. <laughs> All right. Sort of sleep. Nothing seems awake. I need to get poke food. Oh, hi, Wingle. Puyupa. Bye, bye, Wingle. Depending on your mood. <laughs> Let's see. Fear regions. Front entrance. Fall city. Welcome to your tourist center. Sure. Big guy with the burning eyes. We were on the ferry together. <laughs> Is that a- that's a weird catchphrase. Are you traveling alone? You sure don't look like a Taurus. I mean, your outfit is so outlandish. What's that- what is that outfit about? Welcome to Fall City! Fall City is known as the largest city in the Fiora region. The city's best-known landmark is Joy Clock Tower, which is located at the North End. It gives out free candy at 12 at 12 p.m. and a.m. Nobody's usually around for the a.m. part. Would you like me to ask any questions? That's why it's called Joy Clock. <laughs> that's how I have to be for work. Now I'll chat normally. So I want to know, what is the what is with the way you're dressed? You're not really a ranger, are you? It's obvious you never wore that outfit before. Did I not wear the tie correctly? Oops. Excuse me, but are you one of those Pokemon ranger people? Can you do that thing for me, you know, the loop-de-loop-de -loop -loop -de thing you do? Oh, you can't yet? Well, that's too bad. That's a very big Charmander, actually, if you compare it to us. Gar! It has been well-grown. Traveling with my wife. I wonder how many years it's been. That's a long time traveling, I guess. It's a map of the Fury region. It's quite big when you look at it this way. Can I look at it? I want to see a. I want to see a region map. I guess I'm not allowed to. Aren't they that big? I don't know. That seems bigger than normal. Hi. Oh hi, hi Ranger. They're saying hi behind this crate. If it's an Atkins, I'm gonna faint. Long squirmy thing scared me silly. Hurry, touch and see. He sounds really excited to possibly faint. Oh boy, I wonder what it is. It might be something that causes me to pass out unconscious for three hours. Hi there, are you waiting to meet someone? If you got time in your hands, try chatting with people. Don't be shy, just go up to the people you want to meet. Then touch them with your stylus. Such as people. Something catches your attention, don't be afraid to touch your stylus. If you're interested in something, and you don't know what it is, just go out and touch it! It's completely safe. Oh, don't forget to check out the tourist story sifter. Hello there. Goodbye there. Oh, mine didn't left. Oh wow, it was a mine as it was hiding. Yep, it was. Did that make you faint? It's a crate that's typically seen in harbors. It has a foreign exotic air about it that is thrilling. <laughs> Wait, what? 
Look at this ordinary ass wooden box, right? That just screams foreign and exotic air and thrilling. What a foreign, exotic, and thrilling box this is, everyone. So, so exotic. Hello. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Now it's Spitzer. You're the letter writer, right? Uniform I sent you. It's a little bit on the big side. Well, I guess it's not that big a concern. Oh well, anyways, I'm Spencer, Ringtown's li Ranger Leader. It's good to see you finally. I enjoy exchanging letters with you. It brought back memories of the burning ambition I had when I was working on becoming a ranger. Thanks for that. Let me show you to my ranger base. Like the name suggests, the ranger base is the base of operations for rangers. The Fiore region, that'd be here, has four cities. Fall City, Ringtown, Summerland, and Windtown. So fall, summer, winter, and... Oh, Ring Spring. Okay, I kind of get it. It's a little weird, but all right. In each of the four cities is a ranger base. And as I already know, I'm the ranger leader of Ringtown. Ringtown is a fair distance away from to the west, and... Did you hear that cry? Okay, from over there. Let's go look. <laughs> this doesn't look good. That Houndoom appears to be highly agitated. That might have must have angered it. I bet it pulled some harmless prank that didn't go over well. I know that this is a sudden thing, but I need your help to calm down these Pokemon. I'm going to trust you with this Capture Styler. The Capture Styler is a device rangers can use to communicate their feelings to Pokemon to defend them. So it's it's in. It sounds like something to end would make. Only certified rangers are permitted to possess a Styler, but this is an emergency. Capture the mine for me. I'll capture the Houndoom. Here, take this. Yay! Received a capture style. It's like a dream come true. I'm very confused how to use it. It's fantastic you received the capture style, but you don't have any idea how to use it. Exactly. I'll capture the Houndoom first. I'm sorry to remember the music in this game. I'm going to explain how a capture works. Just pay attention to me. First touch your size, the lower touch. It kind of sounds like Fire Emblem music. I dig it, though. You can draw a line on the touch screen by moving the stylus without lifting it. With this line, call the capture line. Draw a loop around the target Pokemon. Doesn't matter where you close the loop with the capture line, by the way. It's just like Sonic Frontiers! If you, when you circle your target Pokemon in a loop, a blue number appears above it. Keep drawing more loops to your target, the blue number will get smaller. You need to keep drawing loops until the blue number no longer appears. But you have to be careful. If you lift your status for the end, you'll, the capture tip will fail. There's another thing you need to know. If the capture line touches the target Pokemon, Capture line disappears like this. Your target Pokemon may also attack the capture line. If the capture line is damaged by a Pokemon's attack, your Stylo loses some of its energy. If your Stylo's energy hits zero, you can no longer do your job as a ranger. Put another way, it's game over. Okay, keeping the points I had in mind, let's try to capture the sound doom. Okay. He's doing it. I'll just watch. Without lifting the Stylo's, keep drawing loops around your target. Each time you make a loop, the blue number above your target goes down. Keep drawing loops till the blue number stop here. Yep. Watch for the blue number turn orange. When you see an orange number, that's your cue to lift the stylus. This is a very important point, so I'll repeat it again. When you see an orange number, lift your stylus. Yes, we are aware. Okay, that's a successful capture. That was me watching the old man catch a Pidgey. This doesn't count as a capture for me. Alright, your turn. First, you need to get close to that mining. I don't think extra loops matter. That counts. That's a bit loud, isn't it? Did I get a bunch of points? I think I just got a bunch of points. I'll take it. At least this actually has something to it. It doesn't take one hour for no reason. No, no, it's pretty reasonable pace of tutorial. Alright, start by writing in mine in here.
You set your target FPS higher, but what you make? Wait, what? Oh no! <laughs> Hold on a second. I was wondering why it sounded different all of a sudden. So wait, hitting the plus key does something to the simulator. Okay, noted. Let's take a look at the controls. It must be a special control. Hold on. My Pokemon caught counter button it seems to cause problems. All right then. How do I fix this? Maybe I hit. Ah, I see. I see. Plus minus. I need to disable these because unfortunately. Let's see here. I need to disable these hotkeys. Hold on. Aha! Here they are. Okay, that should fix the problem. Alright, what, wait, what number am I supposed to be at now? Oh shit, I forgot. I should be at 103, correct? I think that's correct. Somebody check the VOD. What were we at before we caught mining? That's what I need to know. Should be one more. Should be one more than that. I'll look. I'll look myself. Hold on. It was 102 before, so it should be 103 now. Yeah. Okay. We're good. All right. Problem solved. My minor hiccup. <laughs> we don't want 240 FPS. All right. Good job. That's excellent for your first ever capture. Well, that was a bit of excitement I didn't count on. Still, I think it's lucky for me since I got to see your potential as a ranger firsthand. Also, one second. Okay, I did actually select it. All right, good. Making sure my numbers match on both apps as well. All right. The Hound Doom settled down enough, I guess. Okay, big guy, off you go. Back to where you came from. What I did was release that Pokemon. Release literally means to turn loose captured Pokemon back to their natural habitats. After all, rangers can't take captured Pokemon with them unless they have a compelling reason. It's actually interesting because they really do kind of operate like forest rangers. Like forest rangers take care of the forest and uh, help take care of the animals there and stuff and keep things clean and, you know, handle tourist stuff. But it's not like they're like... They're not like running a zoo. They're not like controlling the animals. They might take care of the animals if one's sick or something in their area, but they don't like own the animal. They're just tending to the na to, tending to nature. So the the name Pokemon Ranger actually is quite a fitting title. Well, it looks like this mine has taken a liking to you. That said, you can't really bring it with us. You see, rangers aren't allowed to take Pokemon out of their natural habitats. You better unleash that mine in. You better return it to that exotic and diverse and exciting crate that it was in. <laughs> Bye bye, Minin! Wow, holy shit, it went to space! Whoops, I almost forgot. I've got to confer this certificate to you. It's official proof that you're a ranger. Normally, you'd have to take a proper certification test. It's only when you pass the test that you should receive this certificate. But forget the test. When you are faced with this real life situation, you resolved it admirably. There's no reason at all why you should be certified as a ranger. Read the certificate thoroughly and sign here, please. It does sign over your will and testament, but it's fine. Don't worry about that part. Ranger Pledge. Ranger's Pledge. I hear I pledge to come to the aid of those in need and to safeguard nature to the best of my ability as a Pokemon Ranger, always with pride and courage in my heart. Oh, okay. Here's a Navy thing. Sure. Actually, when you think about it, a Pokemon Trainer is rather self-serving, but a Pokemon Ranger is really about the Pokemon, which is kind of neat. Good work, Hyper. You've done it again with Autobot. Congratulations. <laughs> there. Hey. Congratulations, Charm. You're now a Gen 1 full-fledged Pokemon Ranger. Having said that, you're also a complete rookie Ranger who doesn't know left from right yet. You need to gain experience above all. There's no time to waste. First, we need a wing across the deep blue sky to Ringtown. Step this way. Yes, merge with my body. <laughs> Sorry I kept you waiting, Firo. Do your thing. <laughs> Oh, he's back. <laughs> Mine's like, wait! But also, I, I space wasn't that interesting. I have returned. Merging for the win. It's great you can do that in RPGs with your party members. That seems slightly dangerous. You should probably hold on with two hands. Or should we, should we maybe like, 
Okay, this was before the Corviknight taxi was a concept, I suppose, but... That seems like a slightly dangerous way to fly, but I suppose... whatever. It's a, But it is a radical way to fly, to be fair. This might have falls just here? Oh, look. Ah! Something related to me! Run away! Maybe it's intimidating being in an unfamiliar environment. I think it'll come back here on its own later. Some bot I had left over. Oh, thank you very much, Parker. We should return to its natural habitat then. Welcome back, leader. Oh. I read that as Soliana. <laughs> no, hi, are you the hot rookie prospect? I don't know if I'd turn myself that way. It sounds a little porn movie-ish, but all right. <laughs> I'm Solana, glad to meet you. What's your name? This is Charm, who's about who's become a Ringtown Ranger today. Charm, Charm. Okay, I've memorized it. Welcome to our team. We'll be working together from now on. Let's do our best. Oh, and this is my partner Pokemon Puzzle. Come, so, come on, say hello. <laughs> Kuiper. Now, <laughs> now that the introductions are out of the way, let's head inside. This building is Ringtown R Ringtown's Ranger base. Come on, let's go in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, I heard you were coming. You're the letter writer, aren't you? Yep, I got a ream too. You sure know how to express yourself. I like the drawings you did. Oh, yeah, yeah, my name's Murph. But you can just call me Murph, okay? That's the same name. I've been a ranger for, oh, three years now. But my ranger rank hasn't gone up all that much. Oh, yeah, yeah, the ranger rank thing. It's really tough. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my partner, Slowpoke. It's the faster of us two. Glad to meet you. <laughs> the faster? All right, well, everyone gather, please. This is Ringtown's Ranger Base. Charm, you're a member of this base starting today. That said, for me to recognize you as a fully qualified Ranger, you still have quite a ways to go. There's a amount of things you have to learn from here out. Are you sure you're up to it? Okay, the look in your eyes tells the tale. Your skill level side, you're a real Ranger in spirit. As compatriots in Ringtown, let's all work together to the best of our abilities. <laughs> trouble! There's trouble! It's a crisis! Help! 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 Listen, leader. My precious Pokemon ran off in the Lyra Forest. Hurry! Capture my Pokemon and take it to protective custody! That sounds like the perfect mission for Charm. Enter the Lyra Forest and capture Larry's precious escape Pokemon. This is your first mission. Don't fear failure. Do your best! Alright! I will do it! Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't be afraid of failure! Leader, you gotta be joking! Failure's no good! You gotta be afraid of failing! Are you sure it's gonna be okay asking this rookie guy to handle this mission? Haha, <laughs> there's nothing to be worried about! The Lyra Forest is right outside Ringtown. I'll go ahead and meet you there. Well, isn't this just dandy? I asked the leader because he's the most trustworthy ranger here. But look at this rookie! The less trustworthy faith I've yet to see! Charm, pay it no mind. Larry can say some rotten things, but he doesn't really mean what he says. Anyway, that's not important. I'll give you a few simple tips about the capture styler. Besides capturing, your styler has many convenient functions. Oh? Charm, your styler, it's not turned on. So you take this part like this. Oh, okay. First, this is how you open the menu. Just touch the thing at the upper left of the touch screen. That displays a ring of light comes around you. Give it a try. Right. Cool. Mission. I think this setup works pretty well. I was trying to figure out the... Figuring out the screen sizes is tricky. The main gameplay is in the bigger screen, so I made the other screen kind of small. I think it's big enough to read, though, right? Capture Larry's Pokemon just fled in the Liar Forest. Even though it's a novice race mission, it's your first job. Don't be afraid of failure, just go for it. You know, we were never told what his Pokemon is, though. That would maybe be useful information. Hey, can you go find my Pokemon? I'm on it! Absolutely has no idea what Pokemon he's looking for. Release. Ah, we can capture Pokemon somewhat. Up to four, it looks like. Glossary. Oh, look at that. Neat. But yeah, I do like the concept of Pokemon Rangers. It's a lot less self-serving than a Pokemon Trainer. Pokemon Trainers are in it for a goal, but Rangers are there just to help the wildlife. It's pretty kind of cool in a way. Now, here's our Pokedex, effectively. What is this thing called? A browser? Here's our browser. <laughs> Can I scroll this faster? 
I don't know. I guess not. How many how many entries are there, anyways? To fear Pokemon is a wildlife here. Imagine so someone asking what an animal. Asking what an animal? What an animal? There must be a faster way to do this. However, I'm not aware of how. That's how I oh god, I backed out. No. I just want to know how long the list is, man. Hey, you drag? Uh, no. I cannot. I guess a search option. I guess it's search. It's search if you want to find something, I suppose. It is three numbers long. What? Probably. A ranger must touch. To get be aware of his environment. 100 at least, 99 is most. Well, there's not gonna be that. Oh! Or 68! Haha! <laughs> 68, huh? Just one away from the funny number. Okay. Well, there you go then. And here's the map of the. Whoa, okay, that's an interesting. So. Bring town, that must be the, the harbor. So the Fiora region seems to be part of some sort of landmass, but not the entirety of it. It's not like an island. Okay, good. Your capture style really is an amazing tool. Show at your present location and give you information on Pokemon, for instance. Including my friends list. See that kind of data is shown on the upper screen. It also lets you quick save your game if you want to take a rest. You should check it out yourself. Hello, look at Rookie Lane Ranger. I'm very pleased to meet you. I'll be right here to recharge your style or whatever you need. Oh, it's a Pokemon Center. Yes, if you want to save record your stranger activities or your styler, please touch the save machine. High tech. If they don't keep Pokemon, why do they have those two? Well, they said they didn't keep Pokemon unless there was a good reason, right? Like, oh, this is a clear assistant to your ranger duties. Because I can see that. I could see a Pokemon ranger still having their own Pokemon if it made sense for their job. You know? For instance... Hey, Squirtle, help me put out this forest fire, for instance. Your efforts are applauded. Okay, cool, thanks. I like applause. Yawn. Oh, I got an entry. <laughs> he yawned at me. Hmm, 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 hmm. Whoops, this is no time to be humming. Rookie train is what I have to do. So, uh, what can I teach you now? All right. There's something you don't understand. Look it up, look up the Ranger Glossary. So up your styler being able to touch Glossary to get at it. Gloss glossary explains important topics and details so it's easy to understand. Why, even I make use of it all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to tell you about a second floor of the building that you can reach by elevator. There, I told you. That you've done it. <laughs> So our solar energy starts lower than Spencer's, so I guess it'll, it'll be upgraded. Pla pla. What about you? You want to talk? It's your first time in Ringtown, isn't it? It's a small town compared to Fall City, but it's a good place to live. Lots of trees and nature. Why don't you take a tour of the town before you go out to Lyre Forest? Okay, can I press all the buttons on this control pad? This seems important. Does your partner get the pets? I would hope so. Here's a piece of advice from an older ranger. If your styler runs out of energy, it can't make captures anymore. That means you won't be able to do your job as a ranger. To avoid the heartbreak of that sad situation, remember to save your record often during missions. To see a save machine during a mission, I hope you'll remember what I said. Rookie Ranger, I have a question for you. What do you do what if do you do if your style is about to run out of energy during a capture? The answer isn't stick it out. Run away is the correct answer. <laughs> be a wuss. Assessing the situation of fleeing if necessary is a perfectly acceptable strategy. You need to turn away. Run right away, just draw a single loop around target Pokemon, and then touch the flea icon that appears. Okay, that's actually useful information. Ooh, it's Dragonite. Hello. Dragonite Ranger! Hey there, rookie! Does the Dragonite bus interest you? Dragonite bus! That sounds great! This here Dragonite likes nothing more than working for us rangers. Take a ride, you'll find it for yourself at a another ranger base in no time flat. Rookie, I hate to say it, but it's a bit too early for you to be taking a ride on this guy here. When our ranger leader recognizes your worth, that's when you can take a ride anytime. I want to ride the Dragon Knight. Hurry up and become a good ranger. You know, the kind that's earned the right to ride. Rar. Is the bus the belly? That is the Rubius place. 
Our leader's fear is an aggressive nature. It tops the fjord when it comes to speed. Fear are kind of mean, but they're kind of cool. Is there is there running in this game? I don't honestly remember. I'm sure if there is, somebody will tell me about it in-game. Diabetes organ? I guess I could see that. Hello? Ringtown's nestled in nature. It has a lot to offer. I love this town where people and Pokemon live happily side by side. Isn't that most towns? Did you know? This is Ringtown, but this whole region, including cities, mountains, the sea, and everything, is called Fior. Did you know this, then? There's lots of Pokemon living in the Fior region. You really knew that? Yeah, a whole 68, which actually isn't that many, but... I think that's the same number of X and Y, right? Or something around there? X and Y did not add that many new Pokemon. Pokemon react differently when they encounter people. Some get startled, run away. Others turn aggressive and will attack. You should observe how different Pokemon react. This TV is perfect for this room. There are serious books of Pokemon here, but some fun Pokemon books too. Oh, I, I didn't realize I could inspect stuff. Hold on. Plant. Okay, no, I guess not. It's a Pokemon calendar. What's this month's Pokemon? What is... Yeah, that's a good question. We're, we are now officially in... Wait a minute. No, we're not in May just yet. I wonder what May's, I wonder what May's Pokemon is. Is that a concept? It evolves from a slender mule trick into a flat fuck of a fat fuck of a calzone. What the hell, man? What a statement! Calzones are good though. The secret behind my good health is my daily walk with Pokemon. Leaving my little friend, it feels like I get to share its vitality. The Ziggy Zig. Good go. Ziggy Zig is good. Larry's daughter. Now, where has my father gone this time? Not a day goes by about him raising a big commotion about his beloved Pokemon ran away. His lunch is ready, too. Wait, how long has he been missing this Pokemon? It's cutting edge personal computer. What kind of software is loaded? Cutting edge. It's a cutting edge personal computer. It's a trash can. Actually, wait, some computers do look like trash cans. This is true. <laughs> but trash can is a cutting edge personal computer. Don't you know? Mommy, can you tell me, what does a Pokemon trainer do? I don't know what a Pokemon Ranger does. Pokemon trainers? Dear, trainers are people who capture Pokemon using something called Pokeballs. Just like Rangers, trainers are very protective of Pokemon. It's too bad, but there are no trainers in the Fiora region. There are many, many trainers in a far-off places like Kato and Hoenn. Mommy wanted to become a trainer a long time ago, so I'm a bit of an expert. There are absolutely no trainers here. Maybe they're, maybe they're not allowed to be here. Because this is like, you know, National Park ground, effectively. It's like, no, you can't capture anything here. You'll literally get a fine. Also, probably the reason we can't capture things, like, permanently. Why do we use baby moves other than balls? Because we're not capturing them. We're calming them down and stuff. It actually kind of does make sense. I don't recognize your face, so what do you call yourself? Ah, forget it. It's pointless to hear your name. You're just a rager passing through or something, right? Yeah, I wish I could just bolt for this sleepy, boring town already. That seems fine to me. Uh, welcome to the Grassland Challenge. The rank top score is 5,000 points. Required field move. Is that, is that cut? The science room can be seriously replaced if cut into tiny pieces. I guess it is. Yo, yo, yo! Hope on our dodo and join our capture challenge, yo! Yeah, I know I said it, but we're actually not quite set up, yo. Sorry, come again, will ya? Do duo? Sounds interesting. No, we're not using Pokeballs because Pokeballs may or more or less bound the, bind the Pokemon to the person who captured them. That's not the goal of a Ranger. The goal of a Ranger is not to get technically catch Pokemon. I already talked to this guy. I didn't ri- I flip, I did a really bad rant at the bean near work, scab at hair, sorry, just an observation and myself. Wait, what did you just say? Let me try to translate that, because that was really weird English. So are you saying you ran into a beam near your workplace and scabbed over your head or something? Like, injured yourself? Is that what you're trying to say? That was a very weird sentence, Smithy, I didn't quite understand that. I walked right to a still beam. Oof. Yeah, ouch. Charm, wait. Yeah? Charm, are you feeling nervous on your very first mission? I think it'll be fun, so I'll take along. Okay. 
Why is Puzzle so slow? Puzzle is just like, I don't care. He's just like walking real slow. I'm sorry to hear that though, Beefy. I hope it's not too bad an injury. Okay, ready to begin your rookie mission? Your mission is to capture Larry's Pokemon, which has fled to somewhere in Lyra, Lyra Forest. You're also required to return the captured Pokemon to Larry, who will be waiting here. This really shouldn't be an especially challenging mission. Larry, by the way, what is the Pokemon that fled? Yeah, thank you, finally somebody asked. It was my, uh, you know, um, it was on the tip of my tongue. You know, it's a... I'm just too upset right now, I can't remember what you call I care so much about this thing, I forgot what it was. It's powerful and yet classy. It might have to appear to have a slinky look to it, but it's also clunky. What I'm trying to say is it's it's a Pokemon, that's what it is. That's not, that's not much of a hint to go on. Well, Charm, do you have what kind of Pokemon Larry means? What's clunky and get stylish? What? I'll go with you, so if there's anything you don't understand, you can always ask me. I don't think you should pay much attention to Larry's description. Okay. I'll just catch everything then until one of them is his Pokemon. Oh, I almost forgot. Did you see the browser icon on the stylus menu? It's a very convenient feature, so you should learn all about it. The browser automatically registers data on Pokemon whenever they're captured. The registered Pokemon are classified using numbers that are assigned specifically for late Rangers. You see, those classification numbers are arranged conveniently for Rangers to serve the Fiora region. That's a. You didn't have to explain the regional decks. I understand the decks numbers change. Plapla! Please, I'm begging you, find my precious Pokemon! I will attempt. If you want to capture a wild Pokemon, you need to get close to it. Instead of touching your stylus, walk right into it. That's how you start the capture process. Okay. Hi, Chikorita. I actually will comment, though. The battle music's pretty solid in this. It, it makes me think of Fire Emblem, it really does. I guess that counts. I should probably turn down that, it's a bit loud. Chicory is a lima bean. Basically, a lima bean, rather. Accurate statement. Layer on. That is a- that is a- oh, it might be a Leron. Okay, that's fair, that's- and it, Leron is kind of clunky, I- I see that. Give me a second, though, because I actually have that way too loud. Uh... Turn that down to, like... There, that's probably better. Okay. Chicory, it looks cute when it tunnels with its leaf blowing in the wind. Oh, hey, it actually has a unique Bokadex entry here. So this spin-off game does do its own deck entries. That's cool. I appreciate that. Well, it makes sense, because it's not really a Pokedex. Good capture. I could tell the Pokemon came to accept your friendly affiliates. Yay. Oh, is he just going to hang out with us now? I I'm cool by me. I could just get a Chikorita group if I want to. Wait, do I get, like, experience? Oh, hello, Ranger. I've never seen you before. The style on your belt looks shiny and new, too. Can I, like... Nope, just selects an entry. Come here. Ziggy! Oh god, he's so fast, because he's Ziggy. You can't predict the Ziggy. Okay, this is a game where we're actually going to be capturing Pokémon. <laughs> You know, I appreciate the fact that Baldrick's Foundation made this capture app, but man, this capture app has had problems. You guys remember when we were trying to play uh, Pokemon Ruby Sapphire Pinball, but that only had the entries for the Game Boy Co Color Pinball? It was identical to that list. So I just looked up Zigzagoon in the Pokemon Ranger list. I guess. I guess I'll select that. <laughs> yep, that sure is Zigzagoon. <laughs> what happens if I type Murkrow? Yeah, I get a Murkrow. It actually is... Okay. How dare they sully the name of Zigzagoon and not give him his portrait? <laughs> Uh, there are a few little... It's a shiny! Oh, there you go. That's why it looks different. 
Zigzagoon always zigzags when it moves. It's fun just to watch it. I agree. Zigzagoon is fun just to watch. Zigzagoon is great. So I, uh, I'll try to catch every Pokemon, I guess. I could go. I guess dupes are allowed. So we have Ziggy Fallen. If I press this button, oh wow! Look at, oh, look at, oh that's adorable. Chikorita just follows like you know, like you one would follow. But Zigzagoon is, Zigzagoon's thing is that he always zigzags. So his movement, his following, he's zigzagging. That's great. I love it. He doesn't walk straight with us. Look at that. Look at that. I love him so much. I'm glad they actually gave him that personality trait. That's great. <laughs> I believe this one lets me switch who's following in front or something. I don't really know. That's adorable, honestly, that he just does not go straight. I mean, I see no reason not to catch word. It is more for the catchability, after all. I am gaining experience, by the way. So that's another reason. We actually are gaining experience doing this. So, starter level 1, 35, 100. I'm gonna guess that's what we're increasing there. Uh, I assume. Oh, tall grass. Can we catch, can we encounter stuff in the grass? I'm not sure. It slows us down, though. Capture on! That is so cool! Starling, I bet it looks shiny and new. It is. I'm very... I'm very new at this. I can't get to Mudkip. That makes me sad. I have to cross the water somehow. Then I know the more loops can give me more XP. Oh, really? So extra loops is worthwhile? That's not the way, I think. My instincts tell me so. Oh, wait, what? Is there another way? I didn't see another way. I, I must know, by the way, is there is there um is there a way to run in this game? Or a way to speed up later, maybe? Wait, if that's not the way to go, which way is the way to go? Have you found the Pokemon, maybe? Maybe I did. The Pokemon you caught isn't my Pokemon. That's a wild Pokemon. Mine's a lot more smooth, yet craggy, too. I don't care how you do it. Get my fresh start back to me. It won't be a second too soon. You talk about Zigzagoon, aren't you? Mine is a lot more lumpy and far more flamboyant. You have to hurry and capture my darling. It's almost time for lunch. It's a wild Pokemon. So sm so smooth, craggy, lumpy, and flamboyant. The fuck are you describing? Ditto? Uh, yeah, I guess Ditto could fit all those. Maybe it's in the grass and I just didn't find it, I don't know. This area is not very big, so I'm a little confused where I'm supposed to go. Oh. Hello! <laughs> it's someone's Tello! Oh, it's, is it is that is is that his Pokemon? Okay. So I get extra if I go really fast. Okay, I see. He's, he's very quick, though. Fortunately, if he doesn't attack me, I don't take damage. Since these early Pokemon don't seem to attack. If I hit, if I, if I contact with him, he freaks out for a bit, though. I gotta wait for him to calm down. Or he just leaves. No, wait, come back. The fact that it says it's someone's tell means this must be the right one. Harder than it looks when they're freaking out. There. So yeah, you do get extra experience for extra loops. That's good, worth noting. But I think it does cap. Like, it only went up to 18 for him. Tell it flits about busily. Capture it when it grows tired and rests. Fair enough. Let's add that to the list. Is it lumpy? Yeah, I guess it's lumpy and flamboyant. 
Good job, Charm. That tells Larry's busy Pokemon. Wait, how did you know? You should have just told me. I'm sorry, I actually do, but I kept quiet about it. I wanted to see how you would deal with the situation. Look, the situation of Larry being freaking out so much he couldn't remember what his Pokemon was and then giving completely false descriptors of it. I wanted to see how you do in a situation where you were told nothing but the wrong information. <laughs> I wanted to see if you could still pull it off even so. It's like, I guess. I want to see if you had the drive and tenacity to solve the problem even though you had very little information. I, I felt a little bit trolled there, but alright. You fast pass with flying colors. Alright, let's take that Pokemon back to Larry. I'm noticing though, Tello has an ability? I think. Poke assist flying. Yeah. So having friends lets you get abilities and you can fly. I, how do I fly? Imagine this guy training a doctor. I want to see how you deal with the situation. Meanwhile, open heart surgery patient just dies. Capture the tail was excellent. Let's get that Pokemon back to Larry now. Larry is probably forgetful, but even then it's behind to forget a first day evolution Pokemon. Yeah, especially if it's your Pokemon that you care about. He cared about his Pokemon so much he forgot the Pokemon. Let that sink in. He cared so much, he got himself into such a state over his Pokemon being missing that he forgot what the Pokemon was. Zigzagoon just walked through the fucking wall. All right. Oh, 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 my darling Tello. Hey, y'all. Well, I'll be darned. Good going, Ranger. Just goes to show your leer knows talent when he sees it. I'm a little sorry for giving you grief earlier. Thank you so much. You did it. Congratulations. Actually, do you want to know about my rookie mission? I also had to go look for Larry's missing Tello. This happens a lot. I guess he gets out of his cage and flies off. Congratulations, you cleared your rookie mission. You have now joined the ranks of Pokemon Rangers in name and indeed. Indeed I have. Leader, help! Some of the trees are on fire! Well, that's random. What? That's an expected turn of events. Oh no, a forest fire! Cue the Looney Tunes music. As you ha as you do with forest fires. Charm, get ready to fight a fire. Yeah, they're just randomly on fire. Okay. In a situation like this, we'll have to do something we call target clear. Target clear is the process of solving a problem using the abilities of captured Pokemon. I'll explain using these brave trees. First, touch the target, in this case a tree on fire, to check it. I'll be terrified if the fire spreads. Dalsy slays with water right away. We touch the target that's information will be shown on the top screen, where it says Require Field Move, you see the water icon. That icon indicates that a water type field move is needed. In other words, if there's water, the fire can be extinguished, thus solving a problem. In our case, we need a Pokemon that has the same icon as the water icon to clear the target. I'll go find a Pokemon that can use the required water field move. Gonna go get the Mudkip over there? Our leader is incredibly fast at capturing. Oh look, he's back already! Okay. <laughs> look at Mudkip's vibe! Hold on, that requires a zoom in. That is such a vibe. <laughs> Does seem like he's dancing. <laughs> That's great. So Mudkip is a Pokemon that note control water. Just to be sure, touch the Mudkip and confirm the water icon appears. Yep. A very docile Pokemon. It can douse a small fire by spinning fire. Water! Spinning wa fire is not what they do, in fact. <laughs> Why did I say fire? <laughs> you can douse a small fire by spinning fire! That's actually one way to do it, though. You can, you can destroy a fire with fire. So what does it mean if the target move... Target the Pokemon have identical field move icons? It means this target can be cleared by this Pokemon. Yeah, okay, watch closely. I'll demonstrate how this fire can be serious use a field, field move, but yeah. First, touch Pokemon. Yep. Then you draw a line for the Pokemon target. When the target and the Pokemon are joined, they will glow. That'll do it. Thank you, Mudkip. Bye, Mudkip. I took out one of the fiery trees. You have to deal the other one. Bye. See, that's how you clear a target. Charm, now you try it. See what the other burning tree. Okay. Mudkip! I, I really like how they vibe. Oh. Yeah, you can get like three, four, five bonus experience, which probably adds up. Mudkip's is registered. Yay! 
That counts. There. My tip added. More mud kips. Oh, that one ran for me. Okay. Oh, we're fighting the grass now. Does that change anything? We'll just do it for the experience at this point. But hey, it still counts as additional Pokemon caught. Our new our, our goal is 151, by the way, today. You have too many Pokemon. Would you like to reorganize? Yes. That one. Go. You're useless to me, Chikorita. All right. I could keep capturing Pokemon, but I'm good for now. Nothing needs your attention that way. You have to put out this fire. It, it can wait. It'll it'll stop eventually on its own. Please, Ranger, please Harry, put that fire out. It's my fault those trees caught fire. I was pretending to be a ranger and was trying to catch a Pokemon. I startled it in a brief fire and the trees caught fire and I'm sorry. But wait, what? There's no fire types in this area. What, what did you what did you alert? <laughs> hurry, hurry! Get that butt kip to help you. Okay. Is lighter. <laughs> he tried to burn the Pokemon. The burning trees' flames are completely extinguished. Thank you, Mudkip. Bye, Mudkip. And I have an extra Mudkip for later. Oh, I never mind. I don't have any more. I know I still have them on the team. That was literally a trial by fire, but you cleared that challenge. Thank you, Pokemon Ranger. I'm gonna learn more about the feelings of Pokemon, so I can be a ranger one day too. Maybe you should learn how to not make them breathe fire and trees. <laughs> well said, little guy. That took guts to say. Don't ever forget what you said. All right, let's head back to a ranger base. So, as per usual, the tutorial of Pokemon games are kind of whatever. It's tutorial missions, nothing too exciting. But the gameplay is pretty solid for how simple it is. Fill boost is why this is a puzzle game. Yeah, I agree. This, the the fill boost will add to the puzzle solving. Your work on the working mission was pretty impressive. To be honest, I didn't think you would do as well as you did. Keep it up. Solana, Charm, I want you to patrol Ringtown until a new mission comes up. If anything happens, you let me know immediately. Clear? Roger. A ranger's job isn't only about doing missions. Patrolling the city is just one of the important roles we fill. Let's hit the streets and hear what our citizens have to say. So we're kind of like forest rangers, but also police. Works. Don't treat patrolling like it's a stroll in the park. I used to get scolded like that a lot. See you guys later. Yawn. Okay. Off we go then. Instantly a problem happened. Did you hear that? It was a Pokemon's cry. Oh, it's mine. Didn't. It came from over there. How did you end up in this predicament? Wait, wait, wait up! Wait, my darling Taylor! Calm down! Please calm down, my precious Taylor! That mine is being chased by a Taylor! That's really kind of a bad decision on the Taylor's part. That's literally an electric type it's chased around. Wait, that's Larry's Taylor! We gotta save that mining! We have to capture the Taylor and get it to calm down! Okay. Oh, there's... Charm, look! Look at the mining! I was gonna say... The Tello is shocked! It can't move! Charm, there's your chance! Capture the Tello and get calm it down! Again, Tello, what? <laughs> you made a poor decision, Tello. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna count that as another capture, I mean... It's the same Pokémon, but I did capture it again. Captures a ca the capture mechanic means something slightly different in this game, so, you know. Purred versus poor life choices. Precisely. Also, one second. Oh, I didn't hit the button, did I? There we go. Well, visit Charm. You captured my darling Tello again. I owe you a big thanks. Maybe you should have a birdcage. 
Larry, can you tell me something? Why was your tail chasing mine then? Well, this is what happened. When my darling tail came back to me, I was beside myself. I was so happy. So I was happily peddling, petting, peddling, <laughs> peddling my wares, petting my precious one over and over. I think that little mining became jealous of how my darling was getting all my attention. So I started bugging my precious Tello. My Tello tried to ignore it for a while, but the mining was so persistent, my darling became finally furious. I see. Mining, you better apologize to Tello properly. Now, Minin, maybe it's loathsome. That's just the feeling I get, anyway. Darling Tello, let's forgive that little mine and go home, okay? Pio. My cats are like that sometimes. Yeah, it's a kind of a cat thing to do. Should be this should be a skitty. Larry already said it, but maybe this mine is feeling lonely. Look how much it's taken to you already, Charm. It wants to be. It really wants to be babied. I guess. I mean, it's not a Pichu, so it's not really a baby Pokemon, but you know. Sure, I'm Maya connected emotionally. Maya's name is registered on the browser. Does this count as catching? I don't think this does, because I didn't really catch him, so. Maya stuns targets with a powerful electric shock that assists captures. Cool. Charm, did you maybe know this little guy from before? Can you tell me about it? Is that right? You saw him fall in City's Harbor. Was it a fight with a Houndoom right in the town? Yeah, I already technically caught him before, too. And then it clung to your leg, so you had to bring the Ringtown Charm? Well, I guess a lot happened in a short time. No, I know. Charm, you don't have a partner Pokemon yet, do you? I think this Maya would make a perfect partner for you, Charm. I guarantee it. Nice. More of a gift than a catch. That's settled, then. Lucky you, Minin. From now on, you and Charm are officially partners. Let's get back to patrolling. Minin, you're with us now. Okay. What are we doing? Did you know, in the Fiora region, Pokemon come in different groups. Did you know this, then? There are 17 different groups of Pokemon. Did you really know that? Groups? What do you mean by groups, exactly? Types? If they're types, then why call them groups? I wish I had a partner Pokemon like the one you have. It must be fun to go and walk to in places like Lyra Forest. I just realized something. Eight groups? Oh, that might be it. I... I it's a... <laughs> Marill. There's a little Marill over there. I just noticed that. <laughs> oh, aren't you a lovely couple? Are you and I am already? Or is it is one of you about to ask the other out? Or perhaps you're just a pair of rangers out on patrol. Aha! I knew right from the start. I could help tease you. That's weird. <laughs> What's my favorite Pokemon? Can you guess? Pikachu, because it's so adorable. Wow. Fucking mainstream answer, yo. Not original at all. <laughs> the climate is always like springtime in Ringtown. It's very pleasant to live in, but it also makes me drowsy for a nap. Yawn. If it's always spring, would that mean it's always pollen season, though? That sounds kind of terrible. Yo. Sorry for all the trouble my father put you through. It's, it's okay that he adores his Pokemon, but he goes completely overboard. He fusses over tail so much it has to run away to get some time for itself. <coughs> in that case, you're kind of a shitty owner, dude. <laughs> I was worried about that, and I pet my Tello all the time, and I pet him, and I pet him, and I pet him, and I pet him. I'm just thinking to myself, this Tello needs a break. Charm, right? Sure, appreciate your help. Give your Pokemon some personal space, jeez. That's why he tries to run, it makes sense. Walk north from here, and you'll get to Lyra Forest. Go to the east, you're at Kisara Plain. What am I, a signpost? You may as well be. You're a basic bitch. <laughs> exactly. Now listen, if you like Pikachu, but you don't want to be a basic bitch, like in a Pokemon like Plus Little Mine, it's fine. They're 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 similar, but not at all the same. Where are you going? Where are you supposed to be patrolling Ring to I already did! I talked to everybody! Get on my back! What else do you want me to there's not much here, dude. There's like four buildings. What else do you want me to do? Talk to this person? Hey, how you going? You're on a stroll of your partner, Pokemon, are you? The only Pokemon you can freely take to other towns. That would be your partner. Yes, it's possible to be accompanied by the wild Pokemon you've captured. However, you're forbidden to take wild Pokemon out of their natural habitats. After all, that's how you maintain the delicate balance of nature. That said, it's an entirely different story when it comes to an expert ranger. Such a ranger will have ex get the experience of every sort that will prevent problems of familiar Pokemon in unfamiliar places. That's a weird sentence. Oh, we can go this way, too. Hey! Is this open? Nope. Okay. 
All right, I'm pretty much done with my patrol. Mimikyu is Lovecraft for kids. What? Hmm. Well, it was a good patrol. Reporting back from the patrol leader. Welcome back for both of you. Oh, which mine is that? Could it be the same mine that take along with us from Fall City? That's right, it is. We are happy to come across it while on patrol. <coughs> we know this mine could be mischievous. It's gotten in trouble because of it. But it doesn't seem to have forgotten how Charm came to its rescue. Later, I better explain. So, uh, there's no need to explain. I can see it with my own eyes. Charm chose that mine as his partner Pokemon, right? I can see they make a decent combination already. I should explain what a partner Pokemon is. Every ranger is permitted to keep a single Pokemon as their partner. The partner has to be a special one that has connected emotionally with a ranger as if they are close friends. Partner Pokemon are just there for the cute appeal. They're expected to help their named rangers when necessary. Hope your mind grows into a supportive Pokemon. I'll teach you about my special ability. See, my puzzle is the same type as yours, so I'm familiar with it. Here's a war turtle. <laughs> for some reason. That's doing sumo stomps for some reason. If you want to borrow your partner Pokemon's power, it needs one thing. Your partner Pokemon needs to use partner energy. You gain partner energy by drawing loops around Pokemon during captures. Okay, that bar. Draw a loop, add to the partner energy. Boop, 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 boop. Partner energy, fill it up. When the gauge fills, you're all set to go. The bar minus far touch the icon at the bottom right. Also, I like how Budkip's just chilling here still. <laughs> Do you see how the screen switched? It's where you choose which Pokemon, either a partner or a capture friend you want to use. Touch any Pokemon on the screen. It's data and descriptions of power are shown on both screens. So once you've chosen a partner, touch Pokemon exists. That makes your mind use its power to help you make a capture. Budkip's like, why am I here? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like me explain? No, I'm good. It's very reassuring to have a partner Pokemon on half captures. It really helps my confidence. Leo, if there aren't any new missions, can we go on patrol again? Let's see. Now, there's something that really demands immediate action. Okay, so why don't you do that? You can go patrol the Lyra Forest on your own. Roger! I look forward to getting out of the tutorial zone. You know, I'm burning with ambition again. I'm going to work that much harder knowing that I have a new go getter of arrival at a ranger base. Congrats. Enjoy not being the protagonist, though. Professor Hastings. Oh, confound it all. I became disoriented to that wretched dialogue force yet again. Oh, but that's beside the point. Spencer, long time no see. I trust you've been well. Oh, now, who might this be? That unfamiliar youngster is the rookie ranger you've been telling me about. It's good to see you again, Professor Hastings. As you guessed, he's our new rookie hope. Rookie hope charm. Rookie hope? <laughs> Uh, hello, Charm. I'm Hastings. Glad to meet you. Why is he not named after a tree? There's no need to be formal with me. You may call me Professor if you like. <clears throat> Incidentally, Professor, I wanted to speak to you about the new styler you left with us recently. I think you called it the Super Styler. Well, it sure lives up to its name. It really is quite outstanding. But it also worries me, too. If one were to ever fall in the hands of criminals. You worry needlessly. <clears throat> the Super Star's existence is known only to, our, to the Ranger leaders of the four Ranger bases, as well as everyone else in this room overhearing this conversation, because it is a public conversation. Oops, I was rather loud, wasn't I? Exactly! But no matter, that Super Star is merely a prototype. <laughs> okay, security. Incidentally, Spencer, this is strictly between us, but I had a flash of inspiration. I have an idea that will power up the Super Styler. I couldn't wait to share this idea of you, so I took the long journey all the way to Fall City on foot. So the brilliant idea I have. Ah, uh, yes, Professor. Just hold on a second. Listen, Charm, can you do me a favor? Go upstairs and check on my fear. Oh, that'd be right now. Hastings has no idea of security. Fear's upstairs. That'd be a trip on the elevator. Okay, so my brilliant idea, Whisper Whisper. I see, that does sound quite brilliant, Whisper Whisper. I feel like they're two pixels tall for the limits. Who? who? Hey, rookie, does a range Dragon Knight bus interest you? It's Dragon Knight. Yep, take it right. You find yourself another raid face. Yes. Actually, wasn't me to talk to you. How's this? Hmm? Now you ask about our fear? It's resting up. 
Must be tired from carrying both you and the leader at the same time. There's something to be worried about. It's quite tough. So we'll be back to his regular self in no time. Tough as it is, it's not so stuff tough that can carry two grown men at the same time. I'm thinking maybe I'll have to escort the professor good, but good professor back home. But qua. A lot of the human sprites, their heads are flat on top. Oh! Like this guy. Now that you mentioned it, yeah, I'm starting to notice now. That's an emulator issue? It might be. I don't think it is. Is it? That's a very weird emulator issue, considering I don't see any other graphical glitches. It might just be designed that way. If that was an emulator issue, don't you think the professor's hat would be more cut off? I think it's just how they designed them. It's out of my fear of luck. Mm-hmm. I see. Okay, thanks. The Mayan's ear. Yo, I see it too. Hold on. You could blame it on my emulation, but I don't think that's true. But you know one way I could find out for you? Hold on. Let me check something. Let me look at an official sprite sheet real fast. Mine it. Here we go. Official sprite sheets. No, you're right. There is something wrong. The official sprite sheet doesn't cut off like that. How interesting. That's a subtle... It's a really subtle thing, actually. I wonder why it's doing that. Hold on. It's like a semi important on Fate's Sprites RPG Maker. It's really interesting. I don't know how to fix this issue. <laughs> It's not a huge issue, to be fair, but now that you now that you pointed it out, it's hard not to see it. I don't know I don't know how to fix that it's such a weirdly specific issue um, hold on actually let me save and then I'll try something for us today we'll be walking back to Fall City charm your job is to escort the good professor and see that he returns to Fall City safely that charm is your first official mission you'll need to go through the liar force and head to croc a tunnel is it full of croc a rock <laughs> you get through the tunnel Fall City is just steps away Actually, what generation did this spinoff game come out in? Hmm. Uh, it's good to have you belong, Charm. My well-being is in your hands. Let's make haste to be on our way. Like Hastings? I'll just get back right away to attend my own going research and development. Okay. Get to escort the professor. That's really heavy. Too heavy, even. Want to hear about the mission I had yesterday? My mission yesterday was find the missing toenail clippers. You know how toenail clippers always seem to be missing the few times you actually need them? You know what I mean? What? <laughs> Gen 4. Ah, okay. All these specific... Yeah, kind of. Alright, I'm going to see if I can fix this. Minin will serve a excellent... Well, actually, I guess any of them do. Right. Uh, I think I might be able to fix it. Curd ROM needs to be reset. That's fine, I guess. One moment. 
that fix it? Nope. Okay, that good to know that doesn't do anything. Got to reset the turret back on. Alright. It's an interesting issue. I'd like to solve it. I didn't... I don't know how this even happened. Like, everything is running perfectly, but the sprites are slightly cut off the top. That's really weird. And it looks like it's only character sprites. It looks like the environment's fine. I don't think anything... I don't think any of the objects in the environment are... Rep showing that issue. Like, this plant looks... Uh, everything good, everything. So it's really just... A, it's just the sprites being displayed. Uh, and they're being displayed mostly okay, just a little bit not. So weird. We can just live with it if we need to, but... Let me see if I can't figure out what might be causing that. Let's see. Size ratio, window size... Actually, this will probably really fuck with the resolution of everything, but I just want to see... Okay, yeah. That, yeah, that completely broke everything. Hold on a second. There we go. Okay, that's something to do with resolution stuff. Um. What does this do? Oh my. Good question. I don't know what that did. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Maintain aspect ratio? No, that doesn't do anything. What happens if I... I see. Everything is proportional. There's nothing like... I'm like making sure the pixels are, you know, like making sure the windows are like a normal resolution three times, two times, not like 1.85. Nothing unusual like that that could possibly do that. Nope, it's all good. I could try displaying the game differently. That didn't do anything. How about... Nope. Well, that turns on a filter. I hate that. But... Nope, that doesn't help either. That is so weird. I have no idea how to fix that. It's not really a problem. It doesn't even affect all sprites. It, just, it is weird how it affects a, a number of them, but only a little bit. Um. Actually. Enable line hack. Fixes some graphical bugs involving lines, but causes some other bugs. Not many games use lines. That did nothing. All right. Enable edge marking, depulse, deposterize textures, texture scaling, deposterize textures. Nope, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think uh, I think this is whatever. Um, I, I don't think this is all three D render stuff. This doesn't help with this. This is just sprites. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, uh. Enable advanced bus level timing? That requires a restart. Yeah, I, when I set up the emulator, this is so subtle I didn't even notice the issue. Like, it definitely exists, and I see that now, but like, I just, I didn't notice when I was setting up everything to make sure it all ran fine. Because it's so easy to miss. I don't even see a setting to, like, uh, like cha mess with the sprites. Like, it's mostly, it's mostly 3D settings in the graphics. Like the straight pixel in Pokemon Sword Shield. Oh, you mean the one in the loading screen? The loading screen pixel, I know what you're talking about. Whoever noticed this, this pixel issue, though, I'd like to point out that you have larger OCD than I do. So congratulations, I guess. Uh, let's see. In the credits there was that mouse. Oh no, the mouse! I remember the mouse. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, I, I, there's nothing I can do to... Uh, I've, I've looked at pretty much all the options, and... Hold on a minute, I'm curious about something. Oh, whoops. Th that layer is important. Okay, right, hold on, I'm just curious. Just cu oh, that's the layer. Okay, that's the sprite layer. Color me curious a second. I'm gonna disable some stuff just to see. I'm just curious. Is it underneath, perhaps? Does that make it appear? Nope, still cut off. So it's not the it's not the rest of the graphics that are hiding it. Just checking. Thought it might be that. Like maybe it's actually being drawn, but it's just layered wrong. Nope, that's not the issue either. Yeah, I have no idea. This is such an un unusual issue. Now I have to check one more thing, though. And I'm good after that. And we can continue playing. Because there's one more thing I, I think of in the back of my head when I see this issue, and that is... Hello. Let's see. Haha! -ha, I thought so! The first H the first walk the first like full gameplay no commentary thing I found for Pokemon Ranger same glitch looks completely fine cuts off the tops of the head did any of the comments rec notice this There's a lot of comments. I'm, I'm just curious if anybody is as OCD as, as those of you that noticed this issue of mine. Nope! 148 comments didn't notice the issue. <laughs> But you know who did? Actually, who did, actually? It was Krasovs. Krasovs caused this issue. I wish I wish I had been left blissfully ignorant, honestly. God dang it. Well, if it's happening in other people's playthroughs, it seems to be a common bug for emulation. Oh well. Now you must suffer. At least I'm not alone in suffering. It's not like an, it's not like I, I have a very unique issue here. This is actually... Oh, there's another thing I just noticed, too. Another uh, issue. Look at the shadows. I think there's a problem with the bottom of the shadows of under the characters. They look a little chunky down there. Like, maybe they should be smoothed a bit more. You know what it feels like? It feels like the shadow is one extra pixel long, as well as our boots. Look at our boots. It feels like our feet slash... It feels like our feet have an extra pixel and our head has one less pixel. It feels like one pixel at the top of a sprite was removed and then put at the bottom. So, in, in short, it seems like the sprite rendering is going wrong in this way. It's... The sprite renderer is, to, is not being told the correct position for the sprite. It thinks the sprite's position is one pixel lower than it is. So, it's cutting off the top pixel and adding one more pixel underneath the sprite. You can see that on Slowpoke. It's very obvious on Slowpoke's foot there. See that? So that's the actual... That's what it's doing. It's removing one pixel off the top of every sprite and then adding one extra pixel line. I mean, it's adding a line. It's, adding, it's removing a line on top and adding a line on bottom. That's really weird. I wonder what would cause that. Well, let's continue. I don't care anymore. I just wanted to figure out what the hell was going on. I guess that's what's going on. I can't tell you why. It's probably just one of those subtle things involving emulation. You know? One of those subtle situations where... Emulation is not perfect. It never is. And this is just one of those situations where emulation is not perfect. It's a subtle thing that nobody would probably care about, but... It's still there. <laughs> 
So I guess we're going to Lyra Forest. Walk north, you get to Lyra Forest, go to East, and get Kassar Plane. Alright, yeah. Back to the game, though. We gotta, we gotta catch another 41 Pokemon, so we gotta get moving. Now don't you treat me as if I were a decrepit old man. There's no need for you to feel concerned on my part. Let us march! Hello. Oh my god, you look so derpy. Yes? Ah, you gotta attack me. Desperate. We're trying to catch 151, because that's a good number to catch. By the way, Bellsprout. I think ending this charity event with 151 caught is a very good number. Don't you think? I was going to say, what? Am I going to level up at some point? Cool, I leveled. Energy increased by two. Two? Line length increased by five. Cool. Oh, oh, very nice. Now I have more energy. Bellsprout delivers cuts with his sharp leaves. It's just a sprout, but be careful. Does he deliver them express? Ah, yes, I'd almost forgotten. Spencer asked me to teach you something, Charm. So I was to teach you about Pokeasis. Let me demonstrate using the bell sprout you've conveniently captured. A Pokeasis is a process in which you borrow the ability of a Pokemon in order to capture another Pokemon. Just think of it that way. Now demonstrate. Watch closely. The form of Pokeasis will attempt to capture. Touch the icon at the bottom right. I'm gonna be really glad to get past all the tutorial shit. Okay. Okay, select the Pokemon. Capture line makes tall grass grow. Grass can stop Pokemon on their tracks. I think that's what it said, but it went off really fast. Our two guys are obsessed. One call involves that shows the Pokemon directly assisting the capture by using a move. Partner Pokemon of this kind. The other kind involves the chosen power. Pokemon power up a status capture line in some way. Tall grass can grow. It won't let me read that. <laughs> It's so busy tutorializing me, it won't let me read. Grass Tangle Pokemon stop the rear tracks. Okay. I see. Only lasts a certain amount of time. Yeah, yeah. Stuffed in your way, blade. That's what we did. I bet it works kind of like a Pokeball. And then it gets released afterwards, okay. That's good to know. You can always look at the glossary to see effects of Poké Assist, that's true. Alright, thank you for explaining tutorial stuff. Would you like me explaining? explain it? No. Never. Sort of thing, you should learn by actually doing it. Yeah, that, I like that. <laughs> Let me say another thing, okay. As you move on the Ranger Rink, you'll be able to use more kinds. Just because the new Poke Assist should be added to your glossary so you can look them up. Poke Assist, do a pin on the type of groupings of Pokemon. Do see how they match up against others in glossary. Okay, let's go. Sh -sh -sh cool. Zig Zigzy, come back. Who needs Poke Assist when you're just really good at drawing? Look at that. I didn't, he moved and I kept capturing him. Also, only 9 experience. That's sad. Good old Zigzagoon Murkrow picture. There we go. <laughs> I shall catch everything. Charm, your screen bugged. We can see mine and your doctor by a table permanently. Oh, that's true. It did. I don't know why that's even displayed. One second. There we go. Apparently that was another game capture window that just... Okay, that's weird. Auto detect my auto detect game capture window never detected this DS emulator, except for when it just did there. So weird. Okay, well there you go. Fixed it. <laughs> Fixed it by just turning it off. It's still stuck there, but who cares? Oh, whoops! I turned myself off. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> It must be, uh, I was changing the display settings, so something must have gotten stuck to the capture. Very odd. Oh, right. There we go. 
Hi. See how there are many Pokemon in Lyra Forest? It's because Rangers have worked hard to protect the natural environment over the years. Cool. Plop. Hello, Tulsi. Also, that was less OCD, Chris, since that was really obvious. I just didn't see it. Plop. Getting multiple Pokemon at the same type is really easy to track on the, the St. Baldrin's uh, thing, because it, it just... I don't have to search a new poke button. Whoa. Uh, bye? He had to go turn off his oven. Also, Mudkip actually has an ability, so he's worth keeping. He vibe dances too. Another good reason to have him around. This is true. Oh, that's cute. If you stay still for a second, the Pokemon just formation. <laughs> Six of good takes a second. <laughs> ah, there's a mudkip. Yes, there is one. Good observation. It appeared at the right time. Let me explain how to pour the water poker set. It came at the right time. Now I can tutorialize you more. Oh my god. Let me teach you about each of the 203 poke assists in the game one by one. Can I just learn on my own, please? Touch screen form a bubble. Let's try to complete the bubble. Listen, a pro poker ranger doesn't need a poke assist. Water poke. Uh, we might need it, though, honestly, at some points. Water poke assist creates bubbles that can be used to trap target poker. I'm trying to teach you some of the basic ones so you actually use them. No, it's a Nintendo game. Very true. Bubble. It'll get trapped in it. Okay. Obviously, it's trapped right for capture. Bubbles burst over time. There's another way bubbles will burst. I assume they're attacked. An unfinished bubble, one you left not lifting your stylus from, is vulnerable. They climb of a fish. Okay, I don't... Listen, I can figure this out by playing. <laughs> Alright, whatever. It's also a technique to make him float in any direction you wish. Okay. Imagine if Smash Brothers didn't let you actually play fully until it spent time tutorializing you on each item and how each one worked. <laughs> That's kind of what's going on here. Yeah, okay. Focus is their base type, yep. Which makes sense. That means there's like 17 assists. There's not really that many. I'm sure you could learn them all by just, you know, doing. Bubble must be bigger than the Pokemon you're trying to trap. Okay. Thank you. That concludes my lesson. Thank you, teacher. Can I go to recess now? <laughs> Would you like me to go over the- No! Fine, Char. Let's make these- I like how they all- Every explanation ends with, Did you want to hear that again? It's like fucking Kapora, Gabora, whatever his name is in Ocarina time. <laughs> it's okay, Xerix. Bye. Okay. Well, hi, Ranger. I need help. There's bundled hay on the trail. It's blocking the way. It's too big for me to move. Well, let's have a tutorial about that. Ah, so bundled hay is obstructing our patch. Charm, you already learned how to clear targets, yes? But then I should practice. Use your Pokemon's help to do something about our target, the bundled hay. Lucky for us, Torchic live in the forest. Torchic have the fire filled. Do they need to clear the bundled hay? So first, you must fire and capture a Torchic. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Listen, it's a side. It's the first of a series of side games 
they were very insecure about the idea that, oh, well, those that play normal Pokemon games may not understand this one. We gotta explain things. Basically. How'd this game review? I don't know. It's actually a good series. It's just... It's just one of those, you have to get past the stupid tutorial first. There are three, yes. I wonder if the tutorials are as heavy-handed in the in the sequels. Also, Torchic. Torchic sprouts flames out from its tiny beak. It can easily incinerate bundled hay. <laughs> as Torchic is well known to do, it doesn't burn anything else, just bundled hay. Specifically bundled. If it's just left on the ground, he won't burn it. If it's bundled, though, then it's a target. So yeah, just click, frag. I'm assuming the other games are a little more brief about it. Remember though, th you gotta remember the era this was in. Was this was in too? This is 2006. DS is still fairly new, but remember, a lot of DS games really felt the need to explain, hey, we know this whole touchscreen concept is really fucking bizarre, because remember, this was before touchscreen phones, for the most part, or styluses or all that shit. So there was a lot of, hey, we need to explain to the player how this fucking, fucking touchscreen shit works. Mudcrypt's still grooving, he always will. He's just listening to music, he has like some AirPods, I think. Hi, surprise. <laughs> See, that Mudcrypt was listening to AirPods, he didn't even notice me approach. Completely sound blind. I'll take it. Fuck it. So. Hello. Sorry, anything beyond this bridge is off limits. This forest grows very thick in there, even though the locals are known to get lost in it. Okay, I'm a ranger, let me go in. I'm a very fresh ranger, though. Oh, it's Pichu. Hello. You're only worth three experience. Why? Baby Pokemon, I guess? Pichu not only recharges the styler, but its cuteness is uplifting to others. What's more useful? A battery or a battery that makes you happy? Who knows? Good. I gotta keep zigzagging because zigzagging is, is love, zigzagging is life. But Bellsprout doesn't actually seem to serve an actual purpose, so. Hi, are you on a mission? If your size energy is very low, try to find and capture a Pichu. That's what you should do. Make them by your Pichu will do too. Pikachu will do too. Electric type Pokemon, electric group Pokemon, can restore your size energy using their electric power. I wonder why it's group and not type. That bush seems suspicious. Better doing one additional thing. Okay, fair enough. Chikorita. We'll cap. We'll have a nice. We'll have 150 but I know time this rate. That bush though. Oh, requires cut. Do I wait? Nah. Don't need. I don't need a battery. So I need something with cut abilities. The middle tree. This tree stands exactly halfway between Ringtown and Fall City. Also, yeah, I guess I can cut signs down too if I want to. Nope. Gotta catch the ones that give good experience. Bellsprout, like, for instance. Which also does give good experience. I guess Pichu is pretty useless on that regard. 
I guess he's effectively a way to heal heal yourself in, in a field. That's essentially what he lets you do. So Electro-type Pokémon are effectively healing if you can capture them. I guess that means they're kind of good to have around, actually. Because there's a ledge I can't climb. Can't tell if Browsprout wants to attack. <laughs> huh. Slightly out of the way, isn't it? <laughs> so I need to I need to find a Pokemon with the cut filled move. There's a fallen log in my way. Can you help, Ranger? Probably. I got a million Pokemon. What do we got? Oh! Is this seems like an opportunity for another tutorial! <sighs> Trench fire is way too weak. What do you do now? Are you gonna let me actually figure it out? Thanks. This tall tree fell in a storm. It can only can be burned if it's in the way. So I need... I need double Torchic power, perhaps? Or that'll do. Oh, jeez. Okay, quite aggressive, actually. Combusk it is, then. So you need more advanced. That makes sense. Combusk delivers fiery kicks. Flame shoot from its toes! God, that's a- Flame shoot from its toes! It's a very weird statement. Wow, they actually held off talking about the, the Kabuskan I just caught. They actually they actually resisted having the professor immediately go, Ah, oh, that Kabuskan! That might be the key to breaking that log! <laughs> he actually didn't say that. I'm, I'm impressed. Hey, they're just letting me figure it out. How nice. Yeah, that'll do. Oh my goodness, okay. Fallen Muslims burn till there's nothing left. Yay. Alright then. Crocodile, Ringtown, Fall City. I'm gonna guess this is the ledge I can jump off of. We have far to go now. Perhaps this mission is rather too easy for you. Let us make haste. For something that repeatedly says, let us make haste, he sure likes the slowest out of tutorials. <laughs> the old days used to be able to see their tree around these parts. Nowadays, I guess it's just because there's more people about. They've moved deeper into the tunnel. Hmm. What's this? In memory of Duck Trio, a loyal companion and co-worker in the long and difficult tunnel project. Did he die? I guess digging a tunnel is hard work. You might get exhausted. There. Wait, which direction does it say to go? Fall City that way. Okay, we're in left then. Ah, I can't. Yo, it takes a while to save, actually. So is Fall City that way or this way? Wood fits. Ordinary wood fits that can see it here. It's so easy to cut down. Okay. The trio. 
I thought you died. Oh, uh, now there's a rare sight to behold, a dark trio. You scared it, good work. A dark trio, it fled inside of me. How very rude of that dark trio. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, that's it's all sorts of things. <laughs> Hello, Charm! Can you hear me? It was a very close call indeed, and I managed to avoid injury. However, I'll cut, need you to come get me. There should be another passenger here that will bring you to me. I should wait impatiently. This rock doesn't fall doesn't appear possible clear right now. Rock smash times three. Rock smash times one. Okay. Hi, Paris. <laughs> That's the side of it. You're almost stepping on them. Yeah, very much true. He did not like, respect their personal space. Paras! Oh, he gets cut. Cool. Now to abandon the professor to cut those bushes down. Yes. Let's get rid of... I, I like using Zagoon, but goodbye. You're not as you're not utilitarian. You're cute, but you're not utilitarian. Now to catch a bunch of paras so I can cut down a bunch of stuff. Can I get another paras to spawn by coming in and going? No. Okay. Be good to gather multiple if I could. Oh, what where is this? Where is this? Ah, oh, it's a Magikarp catching place, I guess. What is going on down there? <laughs> what is it? The man is just surrounded by them. Uh, I bet I can only see- I bet only one Paris exists on the screen at a time. Obviously, they want me to immediately cut down this gate, but I'm too smart for them. I, I know secret optional paths when I see them. Feck. <laughs> They're not letting me. <laughs> Damn you and your railroading. I heard this huge crash. Are you alright? The entrance on this side is blocked by rockfall. I guess it has. <laughs> Magikarp bandits mugging him. Oh. That's a bit that's a bit problematic. <laughs> Thanks. I should probably get another Paris, though. I bet it'll respawn now that I've used them. Yep, see. Seems good to have one on hand, so... Ow. Oh, man, I haven't been pressing the catch button in a while. My bad. We're actually at our 24 now. I know this because of the other site. My bad, you guys should... You know, some people said that if I had a sound effect tied to the capture button, I'd press it more reliably. Does not seem to be the case. <laughs> Megabyte does super spin attack. I think it's because I'm capturing them so rapidly and forgetting to hit the button. There we go. Yeah, where was that catch sound? If you don't hear the sound effect, I forgot something. Making my loosest energy to attack and make can also recharge your Siler. Neat. Paris cuts capture light with his front claws to avoid being caught. Ah, that's what it was doing. Makes sense. Oh, I actually hit it. This actually might be a good example of a good time to stop the poke fun. Let's do that. Oh! Tappy, thank you for the $50 donation. That's weird. The sound effect wasn't playing earlier. Let's try this out.
Didn't capture him long because he's a. Oh, I see. Go over there. Get, get caught. Alright, bye. No, you don't. You're not getting in the water. Damn it. I, I feel like I can capture while he's doing that, but I'm not sure. Game Bones experience at Polywake's hard. I'm trying to get the maximum experience if it isn't obvious. I got it! I think I got it. 30 is probably the maximum. I think it's like four extra. I think it's like four extra loops or something. Whew, that was hard. Polywag! If they spot the ranger, they go underwater. Fair enough, I suppose. Oh god! I got attacked before I was ready! <laughs> I just recharge. Cool. Thank you. Try to bait it. Damn it, so close. Bye. <laughs> yeah, having electric attack means having healing, so... Oh, okay, just start with that. Oh my god, I I guess if you're super fast, you can get hit multiple times with the same attack. Yeah, probably makes a tricky one. I don't think I can do max XP captures with them. They're actually hard, hard to work with. I guess that does count as another catch, though. So, boop. And boop. Wait, you see more time trying to max XP catch than they just catch the base twice. Yeah, it's true. Also, there's a Paris. <laughs> Should I like to reorganize? Yeah. yeah. It's close to 25k total. What is? What, what's close to that, Tilly? You mean the, uh... What is it? Who are you? Go Rock Squad! Haha! <laughs> Hello, Raps! The stream Professor Ace is the chief of technology of the Raider Union, I presume. The charity. Oh, nice! 25k? Oh, that's just, that's kind of a bit of a shame. I wasn't actually aware of what the total was right now. Uh, actually, let me check. So, if you guys are wondering what the current numbers are, the total funds raised is 24,433. The number of Pokemon caught, 51,598. Uh, that's a bit of a, that's a bit of a, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little sad. This is the last day of the charity. I imagine we'll manage to get to 25k at the end, by the end of the day, but this was trying to raise 100,000, so raising 25,000, it's not insignificant, but it's only a fourth of the uh, actual goal that was being aimed for. Bit of a shame, but that's okay. We definitely did our part. Uh, I think it's. I think it was said that if every streamer who was participating managed to earn $400, then they would totally smash the goal. So clearly, not every streamer managed to earn $400. That's understandable. But the fact that we earned over $1,000, we earned we earned $1,200. If not a bit more by the end of the stream, we'll see. So we earned, if every streamer earned $400, it would have completed it. We earned three that three times, so. We did three times our part, more or less. <laughs> was it 300? If it was 300, then we did four times our part. All right, anyways, let's look at the evil team here. Well, we're strangers of danger. We mess with rangers. That makes us the Go Rock Squad. So sorry, Grass, we're here to relieve you of your ported package. I'd take this more seriously if it wasn't for the fact the cloud music is playing, but what are you doing? Wah, stop it. 
Yeah, thanks so much for your co cooperation. What super sorry to receive, thank you so kindly. That's all the time we have for today. Adios, senior. All right, why do you guys wear barbershop pants? How can't we just let him walk away? Oh, Char, we have a crisis on our hands. My super seller, the fruit of all my studies, was taken by some ruffians who called themselves a the Girl Rock Squad. If I was only 20 years younger, I could have twisted, crumpled, and tossed such dregs of society aside. Holy shit, Grabs. <laughs> Come, we must be of chase so I can beat them up with my cane, I guess. Given that attitude. He wanted. He wants He wants to serve blood. I like how our Pokemon collected. Oh, you gullible ditties. You thought that rockfall earlier was a natural thing? Haha, <laughs> you can stay cooped up down here for the courtesy of us. Hey, <laughs> I'm the bad guy. Let's see what happens when I press this button on the remote control. Are you ready for this? Click! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the bad guy. You're gonna kill people. Uh, is this a... Uh, mm, like, is this a screw-up? Well, good going. Yeah, it's screw-up, all right. How are we supposed to slow him down now, you incompetent fool? What are you going on about? You're the one that set up the trap. All I had to do was press the button. It's not me who decided where the rock should fall. There's something, something to be said. Something to be said for that, but it's beside the point now. Let's hightail it. They're attempting murder and failing. Mandibite does a little spin, but it's not really that dangerous. <laughs> Excellent. Doesn't mean I never catch, though. Cool. Oh god, what? <laughs> Bellsprout auto attacks me. I wasn't expecting that. And that's another one. We're well on our way now. Eh. I'm just keeping the useful ones, like I said. Two weird guys. Yeah, they took off right like a pants were on fire. They were saying stuff like ha 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 and ha ha ha. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Crocodile, Ringtown, Fall City. Yep. That was indeed where we were. Oh, it's right. It's right on. Nicely done. That right on. Those two scoundrels must have been something done something to rage it so. Charm, is your stylus energy sufficiently charged? Try using a book assist like I taught you earlier to capture that right on. If you put your flames to the making the capture, right on should calm down. I am not using a poke assist. I am going to not use a poke assist just to spite this guy. Because he keeps kept being like, I'm going to tutorialize you repeatedly about poke assist. So they use poke assist. You should use poke assist against that boss. Well fuck you! I'm not using poke assist because you wasted my time. Let's beat this up without it. <laughs> Rock, okay. Oh, that's seven, wow. It's slow, though. Ow, he did two damage. Nice. Oh, God. <laughs> I just found a, a key a key issue with this. With, uh, hold on a second. One second, I broke something. I found a key issue. Why the hell would they do that with the simulator? Why the hell with a DS simulator... Where you gotta click on the screen with your mouse because stylus. Why in the hell would they make the edges of the emulator draggable? Why would the hell would they make the edges of the box emulator draggable? For a game where you use a stylus. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Hold on a second. Is there a way to disable that? Lockdown. Yes, I disabled it now. Ah, oh, bugger, that changed the shape of things. Hold on a second. I'll worry about this later. There's something called lockdown, which does prevent it from moving, but it, then it changes the window of position. I'll worry about this later.
Nice try. Ah, I had it! I had max- I had it max and everything. This doesn't count as a poke assist, I'm just healing. Oh wait, I, that's not healing. Also, it doesn't do anything because he's a rock type, that's kind of funny. Anyways, I was trying to heal. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there, I used a poke assist, Professor, you happy now? <laughs> I did nothing, but you know. I need to bait him, hold on. There we go. Because he does react, by the way. Gotcha! Maxed! <laughs> not a focus. It's not what he wanted me to do. He was like, use those bubbles I kept bothering you about. Capture the Rhydons. Like, no, fuck you. He wanted me to stop the Rhydon with the focus. Anyways, he got Rhydon. <laughs> All I did was heal and not care. Ah, oh, I see. He has the fill move thing. Right on hers, big boulders that can break walk rolls. <laughs> that right appears to be calmed down enough. Release it to wherever it came from. No, I need to. No, I need to break. Professor, if I had kept that ride out, I could have reopened the tunnel that people use to cross between cities. But sure, let me just frivolously release it in a cutscene. Whatever. <laughs> Phew, we've been beset by trouble. That little disturbance cost us time. We've completely lost sight of those scoundrels. Let's return to Fall City. Let's consider our options. Oh, you mean like the options to clear the tunnel with the ride on that you didn't let me take? Well, I don't mean fully rouse the text studies. Let me consider what we might do. That was weirdly meta of the game. What? Still time for inside jokes. Let us make wait, way post haste. Okay. He did this to punish you for not using assist. How rude. I'm certain it's not that. He's confounded which direction town is. Okay. Alright, you know what though? I'm upset, so I'm gonna do this. Fuck you, sign. I don't know why I did that either. But I know I can do it, so I did it. Friend Pokemon can't be taken out of their natural environment. Now make go beyond this point. Will you release them? Nah. Actually, yeah, I will. Does he look like the professor from Mega Man? He does? You think he looks like- he does kind of a little bit look like Dr. Wily, actually. Especially from side view. Ah, here we are at the Fall City Ranger Base at last. Char, well done. Your ambition has been accomplished. You don't appear very happy. Let me guess, you're upset that I was mugged for the Super Styler. No, I'm upset because you wouldn't let me fix the fucking rocks in the way of the path. <laughs> now listen, Char, was it not your mission to deliver me from this location safely? Now examine me, if you will. Do you see a single scratch upon my person? I think not. And here we are at the mission's destination, the Ranger Base. In other words, you've accomplished your mission objective impeccably. I suppose that's true. Hi. Joel. Welcome back, Professor. How is Spencer? Thank you, Joel. Spencer is fine, but things did not go well for me, I'm afraid. I'm quite humiliating, to say the least. You see, my Super Styler whisper, whisper. What did you say? The Super Styler is gone? We should discuss this in the Ranger base. Let's hurry there. Okay, just leave your Dodrio on the street. Jeez. At least tie it to a lamppost or something. I, I just say it, but sure, why not? Pokemon Ranger could work on the Switch. It could. It's kind of been forgotten as a series, though. Good work on escorting the Professor. I've heard about you from Spencer. For a Rankin Ranger, you've done a commendable job. Sure, I'm officially promoting to Ranger Wake 2. Nice, I have an extra star. So 
we should clean up this confetti. Not it. <laughs> Can I use fighting poke assist? Oh, okay, I couldn't before? Good to know. Professor, there's something I need to discuss with you. It's too says to discuss here. Let's take it upstairs. Charm, please wait down here. Okay. Wow, that flower display is quite impressive. Hi. What do you guys look like? These... Okay, the outfits for the rangers here... I mean, look at these guys. You know what? They look like fighter pilots or something. They look like they're ready to go fly on their F-150 and, like, shoot some missiles at some targets or something. Don't they? Don't they look like they're wearing flight suits? <laughs> Hi, I'm Lynn. Nice to meet you. Are you Lear, Spitzine... Spencer and Joel they used to be on the same team together back in the old days. They used to clash as rivals when they were young, but nowadays they have nothing but respect for each other. They're famous in the Fiero region to this day as Spencer, the Fiero Master, and Joel, the Do Dodria Writer. What title would you like more to have between those two, I wonder? Oh yeah, the name's Keith. It'd be nice if you remember my name, but you must be some kind of impressive. I mean, you got you must be to get the job of Vescore the Professor. Huh? I don't get what's so impressive about that. It just so happens Professor Hayes is the Ranger Union's chief of technology. That capture style you're using? That's just one of the professor's inventions. Hey, welcome back, Arya. Of sorrow? Oh, that uniform. Oh, you may be a ranger from Ringtown, but I don't remember seeing your face before. I'm Arya. I'm a ranger here in Fall City. You never heard of me. You really don't know anything, do you? Oh, well, that's fine. And who might you be? Okay, I see. You're, so your name Charm. Thanks for telepathically communicating that to me. I'm not. It's not a very inspired name. How dare you? It is unique. It is simple, yet unique. Charm is an exceptionally simple name. Not fluffy or overcomplicated, and yet if somebody says Charm, everybody knows that it's Charm. Because almost nobody else uses the word Charm as a name. The only other person that I can think of named Charm is Metacham, but nobody cares about the Japanese name of Metacham, and I totally did not actually know Metacham's Japanese name was Charm before I named myself Charm, so shut up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I destroyed my own point there. Whatever. Listen up, please. Okay. <laughs> I have bad news. Professor Hastings is set upon by criminals who claim to be the Go Rock Squad. What kind of name is Go Rock Squad? Go Go Rock Man! I don't know, maybe a Mega Man fan squad or something? Worse, they made off the Professor's invaluable Super Styler. The Super Styler, by the way, should be considered the latest version of the Capture Styler. I can't discuss it in detail because it's still in development. However, in criminal hands, its potential for wrongdoing is frightening. Recover the st stolen Super Styler at any cost. That is a mission for every Ranger in Fall City. This is no usual mission. This is not a problem that can be solved by the Fall City Rangers alone. I have just had the Ranger Union issue alerts to all Ranger bases under its command. Every Ranger in the Fiero region will be informed that the recovery of the Super Styler is the top priority mission. I ask all of you to fully cooperate with Rangers across the region to complete this mission. I'm sorry that my carelessness has led to this. Professor. Okay, everyone, you heard. Please give this mission your best effort for the Professor's sake, too. I mean, honestly, it should have been, like, a fucking... <clears throat> safe or something, rather than just being car carried on an old man's person. Our first task is to gather intelligence on the Golrex squad. We need to know everything there is to know. Investigations have fan out from the Crocodile Tunnel where the Super Styler was snatched. Don't forget, I expect to be kept constantly informed. That's all. Everyone dismissed. Like, keep me in a open open voice call, group voice call at all times, so I can be constantly informed. Yes, you want to say something? Oh, you'd like to work alongside Fall City's Rangers? I appreciate your offer, but Charm, I'm afraid this mission is much too much for you, your current Ranger rank. Also, there's something else I'd like to entrust you with. Because of this mission, Fall City will be about its regular Rangers. While our Rangers are absent, I would make you handle this this city's Rangers activities. Don't I work for the Ring City Rangers? Can they just, like, can they just, like, steal me like this? Fall City? I, I don't know. I'm not sure that I they are worried. That old man spitter probably has a five-hour tutorial to use. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm asking to help our, new, our citizens in need. That'll be our newest mission charm. That, means, that gives us five hours of gameplay to try to solve the issue, at least. Okay. My super sorry we use for nefarious deeds. The very thought of is horrified. I guess because they could catch the Pokemon. I thought it was a range of vivid splashes of color. The look is quite cosmopolitan. It is? <laughs> I guess they know best, I suppose. We're six and what? I don't know. We're actually in six in terms of not donating. Oh, really, Tuppy? Wait, how do you know this? Where, where are you finding this information? I'm quite curious. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, I need to take a water break. I was like, suddenly, I need to drink, like, the rest of my water bottle. Suddenly thirsty. <laughs> I was trying to talk to the person. There we go. How did I, how did I look at the flower? Wait, hold on. I looked at the flowers past the person. I was staying closer to the person than the flowers. Somehow I interacted with the flowers. How'd that happen? Oh, there's leaderboards. Really? Uh, I guess I just didn't see that page. I wasn't really too concerned about it. I'm just trying to help out. I'm not here for the clout, so I didn't really notice this. But this is interesting. I'll take a look. Hi, hot prospect ranger. Here's a bit of advice. Did you know that you can earn experience points by capturing Pokemon? I guess I definitely played enough to learn that. An average number has shows how many experience points you can earn for that capture. The amount you can earn depends on the Pokemon trying to capture. What sort of number appears? You earn bonus experience points by completing additional units. loops. If you're comfortable with how the captures go, you should try for bonus experience points. But watch out! If the, if the orange number stops going up after completing the bonus loops, it means you can't earn any more. Watch out! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Hotshot Ranger, I have a question for you. What did you do if you came to be stuck during a mission that were completely out of options? Sometimes you don't really have much of a choice what we can do. If we ever stuck that battle, you can retire from the mission and start it all over again. What's wrong with your feet? Just watch his sprite. I like just randomly notice as I read this. What's he doing? <laughs> What's he doing? What's he doing? <laughs> He's got a stanky leg. Can I use the Dragonite bus yet? I'd like to ride in, in slash on a Dragonite. Okay, become a good ranger. All right, I haven't done that yet. Hello. Our leader is a trio. It's very intelligent. Using its three heads, and keeps watching situations that develop to keep our leader informed. Oh, it's a spy. Spy Dodrio. Hey, Ashad Ranger, here's a little piece of advice. Have you ever had trouble telling apart your friend Pokemon from Wild Pokemon? If that happens, try pressing X or Y. Your friend Pokemon will glow with a blue outline. That's true, I can press this button and they glow with a blue outline. It's very cool. It's not very important, really, but... Leaderboards are for catches. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, let me look at this, though. Oh. Very neat. Oh, see, I'm of two minds about this. The fact that I, I, I am so high on the on the donation leaderboards, that we are so high on the donation leaderboard, it, that's really cool. But at the same time, it's a little bit disappointing, because I feel like there should have been a lot more support than this, you know? It's a bit of a shame that this, this, this uh, charity didn't get more support. But hey, at least we did our part. Sorry, I received a text message from Spitzer to Charm. Message from Joel. I know that you're in a familiar place, so things can't be easy for you. But hang in there. How about the sins of falsity and need? I'm counting on you. Okay. We're investigating to see who that Go Rock swap went off to. We're awfully sorry about it. We've had to close off the crack tunnel until we're investigating. Don't worry about it, man. It's closed off anyways of all the fucking rocks in the way. <laughs> what? Hello, Ranger. Can I get you to come to my apartment building? Dude, I was just trying to sit down. <laughs> There's been a mix up there. I'm stuck because of it. I'll be waiting. Uh, okay. Don't you find Joel, Joel, the Ranger leader, to be cool and fabulous? I'm waiting here because I want to see how Joel and the Bull and Patrol reign so Drio. Why do you look mildly like Tron Bond? Okay, um. I'm going to research lab. Oh, okay, this is his lab. Door is locked. Okay. To be fair, it probably should be locked after this, after what happened. The water works under inspection, so it's closed to public for now. We've been getting a lot of complaints about poor water quality lately. We're stuck as to why, though. Okay. Meowth. Oh, well, we can fight him. Okay, well, we're in town, but sure, why not? What you gotta do? What you gotta do, Meowth? Oh, okay. Oh. Ooh. He's feisty. He actually can jump. Interesting. What I wonder what my placement is for um what my placement is for uh Ooh, he has cut. Makes sense. Yeah, if you can cut down trees with its claws. It cleverly walks on its hind legs. <laughs> Animal goes on two legs from four legs. Wow, so clever. 
I guess it does require a sense of balance. <laughs> Especially if you can go on both. It's Waldo! It kind of looks like Waldo. Fall City is a good variety of facilities right in town. Beneath our feet is the waterworks. In the south is Harbor, and the east we have Dust Factory. Dust Factory? That sounds like a pretty cool place. <laughs> the capture is in the west. Oh wait, the arena is not in their operation yet. Battle Arena? Oh, my plush is cute. I wish I could live with some real Pokemon one day. Hmm. Yeah, pounces towards the Styler top. Oh, he chases it! That's cute. I know Snow Well. Honestly, I don't know where did they get the day that each Gathering 300 would result in the goal since there's like 69 people on the event? I don't know. Maybe there was more people that signed up than 69, but there's but maybe some of the people Well here's the thing. Everybody there's one thing to consider. Everybody who signs up for an event, you gotta keep in mind that there's always gonna be a section of people that just don't participate. You know what I mean? So if a hundred people sign up to visit an event, you can bet that maybe 60 will visit, probably. Some people just cancel or something gets in the way, you know? So they just don't do it. Makahita, what are you gonna do? Okay. He tried to punch, but I, I did a large loop, so it's fine. Makahita. So I'm gonna guess they were going by the number of people signed up, but not the actual number of people that actually is involved. It's a bit of a, it really is a bit of a shame, though. Ooh, he has some good filthies. Because, I mean, this was... This isn't the first year of Catch a Million. There have been other... I think it, it happened last year, and I think that may have been the start of it. So it's a little bit disappointing that, considering that it has... This isn't even the first year of this charity, that the turnout wasn't really that high. It's a bit of a shame. And that's understandable, Zarek. It's totally fine. We're so lucky to have rangers with us. They're al we're always there to solve our problems right away. Yes. I keep seeing strange rangers lately. I wonder if they're really rangers. <laughs> Maybe they're power rangers, not the real one. They're those guys would be impersonators. <laughs> Joy Clock Tower, the sound's symbol of happiness. It keeps accurate time, too. Well, I'd hope it does if it makes people happy. Can you imagine if it didn't tell accurate time? It's like, oh, it's time to leave work. Look, the clock said so. It's inaccurate, but at least... It, but it told you it's time to leave work, so it still makes you happy. Even if it's not true. All right, Stubble, what are you going to do? Okay. That's weird. I don't even know what that attack was. I didn't hit the... It didn't actually hit my, my uh, capture wire thing, so... Weird. Oh, it also has a tail. has a tackle. Can move heavy obstacles, but it's actually quite docile. Fair enough. And add it. I wonder something. Okay, that's the person that demanded my help. What's this way? Hi. <laughs> Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting Ludic Ludicolo. <laughs> oh, jeez. Pretty easy. They have quite a- they have a groove, though, don't they? <laughs> Ludicolo dances cheerfully while singing. It's too interferes with can't capture it. <laughs> I guess so. He seems actually useless, so goodbye. I'll capture another one, though. We're in eighth place for donations. Honestly, when this game isn't throwing a million tutorials at you, it's pretty fun. 
So basically, the further you get in this game, the more fun it'd probably be. There's a contest to name this fountain. I'm trying to think of a good name for it. Um, horsey fountain. There, done. Found seven new rays more than us. Wow. How many levels are there? That's a good question. I actually don't know. Ah, there's nothing to do. I'm probably the most unbusy guy in the world. Of course, a job as busy as a ranger isn't for me. It has a merchandise on display. It's best not to look too interested. We don't exactly have money in this game, so that's fair. Hi, let me just invade with a bunch of wild Pokemon I found in the streets. How you doing? Can you imagine if somebody just walked into your house with, like, four stray dogs and cats just tailing behind them, and they just hung out and talked to you? And they just, like, got fleas and everything, and they just sat on your couch or something for a bit? <laughs> like... <laughs> I just walked in with a bunch of stray city Pokemon, I mean... And now you can hear music play in the Dust Factory. It sounds like a brand practice, but in between songs, you can hear people shouting slogans or saying, Oh god, you found a cult. Good to know. The Dust Factory on the east side of town! In the old days, the right proper factory was. Really, we know solidly dressed people coming and going there. You received the eighth most donation of all streamers for the donation drive? I guess so. I haven't personally confirmed this, but from what I understand, this is the true statement. Also, it seems like I have a lot more freedom all of a sudden. I appreciate this. What does my mission actually say to do? Let's see. Take a place to follow it and solve the plan. Let's make the tree you my future. Okay. So we know that apartment lady needed help. I'm gonna ignore her so the game doesn't advance past the mission. If I don't do her mission, I imagine. Oh. Stubble gets in position? No, actually, I need, I need to be out for this. There we go. Let's break, pu let's break private property. Thanks, Meowth. Meowth goes to space. Goodbye, Meowth. Oh, this goes to. I don't know. No, I don't want to talk to Makuhita. Amity Square. May smiles bloom in friendship. Amity Square. Huh. Dust factory. Scrap metal is in the way. This is melted here and there as if the Pokemon breathe fired it for fun. This tree grows straight and true. If the shake of Pokemon may fall out. Oh, really? I didn't even think of examining the tree, but sure. The Pokemon sprites are really good. Big tree is teetering back and forth. It sure is. Nothing came out. How about this tree? Nothing happened. Alright, what about Makahita? He's got double tackle. Nothing? I guess that left- I guess that didn't actually do anything for me. Sad. That's okay, we'll just get some more Pokemon and try it again. Yeah, there you go. Sometimes you gotta bait them. I get very confused. Meowth can just literally jump over the line. <laughs> it's a little disorienting, I gotta say. Well, I could capture more of them. They're not actually useful to me, so let's go this way. My wife is completely infatuated with Skitty, but I'm completely captivated by her. And she barely knows I'm alive! <laughs> then obviously your solution is to wear a Skitty costume. Then she'll pay attention to you. I left my Pokemon back home far away, but not a day goes by that I don't think of them. Oh, Pikachu, Dragonite, the horizon is blurred by my tears! Sniffle. How, how dramatic. What's back here? Secret. Alley for nefarious business. Hello. 
You hold it there, Ranger. Did you catch the news about the capture unit pass here? Says we say it's not your lucky day. We're still getting ready. Sorry, this point, you, Ranger. You'll come back soon when things are on. You're just holding a mic and talking. All right. There was something in a trash can that wasn't supposed to be there. You're within your rights to check trash cans, but you might give me in for a shock. Don't get knocked down. You're behind. All right. Welcome, my. Aren't you young? I hope you'll work hard at becoming a respected ranger. Welcome. Oh, you're just a ranger. Those guys are flat out broke. I don't care anymore. Stubble freaks the hell out. Ah, uh, fair enough, fair enough. You have a good sleep car. I'll see you later. We'll get there. We're almost there, actually, already. Let me just recapture my utilitarian Pokemon. Hell yeah. Let me go get that Makuhita again. They're up here, right? I'll take another stubble as well. Done and done. There's Makuhita. Makuhita is important because he does double tackle, and that might be important because, like, ow. And done with that. I'm, I'm being really efficient now. Hell yeah, 141. Good night, Beers. Everybody's leaving! Alright, it's fine. Welcome. Oh, okay, this is the person I used to talk to. Alright. What's up here then? A trash can! The trash can is here, back and forth! Okay, I, I like how it seems to be RNG, and I'm having terrible RNG. Why? <laughs> Give me something. This is rude. That's what this is, rude. It's like headbutting trees in the traditional games and they just don't give you anything. Hello, Ranger, did you know? There are people across the sea who go on adventures with Pokemon. They're called Pokemon trades. Let's think that's kind of cool. Yeah, let's catch this Wingle. Hello. Bubble. Oh god, they're fast. Alright. Come back. Well, that's gonna be tricky. Seem very leisurely out of battle, but in battle, wow. Land. 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 Probably won't if I'm staying underneath them, actually. <laughs> yep, thought so. He, he moves very quick. Good enough! That's a Wingle. Wingle flies with his wings spread out. It spits water to the fear of capture. Sure does that. Does it Does it do anything cool? Actually, I didn't look. What do you do? Nothing. Okay, but you exist, I suppose. Hello, Ranger, did you know? Yeah, I did talk to you. Someone forgot to pay the backer for this area. I see your point. The Storlax is always asleep. Doesn't it ever get hungry? Does Willow wake up? Well, he seems to awaken it. Alright, Meow, scratch the hell out of it so it wakes up. 
All right, never mind. <laughs> What's this say? What's this say? What's this say? What's this say? Thank you. If you ever reach front entrance, oh yeah, that's the Taurus Center. That's fine to go to Summerland, but I'll say it's quite a place. I wonder what Summerland is like. Resort Island of Summerland is drenched in sunshine. Seek of sight of interest in the nature-filled jungle. Jungle. A mysterious relic harkens back to an exotic ancient time. Ooh, is that going to involve a legendary Pokemon? I can do all the selling on Summerland I want, but the fairy of Summerland isn't running right now. Actually, I don't know what legendaries are in this game. Hello. Wiggle Sprite is cut off. Yes, people have been noticing this. It seems to be a small emulation issue. I was trying to bait the attack. There we go. That seems to be the best strategy. Bait their attack, and then attack. Put it simply. When Krabby starts foaming at the mouth, it's about to spray bubbles to attack, and then it just stops, and it's very easy to catch. Also, another useless Pokemon, looks like. Yeah, well, I mean, it has a field move, actually, so it's not useless. Never mind. You'd like to ride on my lap, Rass? Ha! <laughs> Makes me happy hearing that, but we just got back from Summerland. If you can wait a while, I'd be happy to oblige. Dude, can you imagine just going up to somebody with a speedboat and being like, Hey, dude, can I just, like, ride your speedboat? And the guy's like, you know, sure. It's a cruise ship SS Fear II, quite popular among tourists. Wingull, indeed, has a use. Well, no, actually, Wingull does not have a use. He has a field move. He has no field move, so he's not useful to me. He has, a, he has an assist move, but... Krabby has a field move, so... Field Krabby is useful. Alright, aside from that lady that needed help with their apartment, there's also this direction. You haven't had any success finding the whereho whereabouts of the Go Rock Squad. Huh? What are you doing here? What's that? Joel asked you to keep watch over Fall City. Let me get this straight. You're a Poke Ringtown Ranger, but you're patrolling Fall City? Well, that's a uh, awesome. It really helps us out a ton. We'll find the Go Rock Squad somehow. So yeah, we'll kind of you take care of things in Fall City. All right, cool. Bye. Enter phone for authorized people, but type that requires a password. Wait, what? Enter, enter phone for authorized people that requires a password. Wait, are there phones that require a password? Like, I'd like to, I'd like to use the intercom. Okay, what's the password? Okay, you did the correct password. Now you could speak to somebody inside. Like, is that normal? Have we figured out there's a run button? I nobody's told me there's a run button. I have not. I do not believe there is a run button. Wingall, get inside and like steal a key card. Wingall could just fly over. I mean. <laughs> I'd like to note something. Watch Wingle Sprite, like, right now. Just watch his sprite. Not when he's on the ground. When he's, uh... Yeah, right now. <laughs> no, he's, like, glitching back and forth, if you pay attention. Especially if I, like, slow down for just a second, then he starts glitching more. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab another stubble. <laughs> Don't stub the stubble. I actually am not a big fan of stubble, though. I'll be honest. I don't really care for his design. It feels very random, in my opinion. Now I have a Pokemon with Tackle. I probably can deal with that apartment thing, though. What was it? Pretty nice building, isn't it? My suite's over here. All right. <laughs> and then I just leave. It's over here. All right. Nothing. I'm a little disappointed the trash cans didn't provide me anything to, like, you know... I'm gonna try one more time with the trash cans. I feel like I'm just getting bet. Oh, I got both. What happens if I capture them at the same... Ah, oh, I fuck, did the thing. I did the thing again. Hold on. <sighs> so easy. 
I would like to double capture. But I need to get, get him a little closer first. Ha ha! Yeah! How about that? Double capture. Stubble and Makahita. I forgot you could do that. <laughs> so, uh... That's two. <laughs> Goodbye, Winkle. <laughs> oh, I still have too many. Uh... You, I guess. If I had, like, done the duplicates as well, like, if I had done extra loops to get even more, then that would have been pretty interesting. I don't know if I got extra XP for that. I didn't do extra loops because I just decided to do the minimum because it was difficult to keep them, you know, corralled, so... I didn't think I'd try the... I don't think I... I didn't think I'd go for broke. That seemed kind of... like a bad idea, in my opinion, but... Alright, let's do the apartment thing, actually. You are reward bonus, okay. But you get bonus on top of that with extra loops, so probably can get quite lucrative. Wait, wait, where are you going? Oh, you thought I was here to help you? No, I'm supposed to visit, I'm just visiting Steve on the second floor. See, Ranger, this big crate's in the way. I think the movers forgot to take it. Please do something, I can't get in my suit with a heavy crate in the way. Wait, is this really a place that, where is, oh, what if I say no? Hey, maybe a ranger imposter. You don't want me spraying that room around town, right? Please do something. A ranger imposter. What would that be? A ranger? <laughs> yes. Strong Pokemon move this crate. Yeah, whatever. He's gonna attack the papers too. Oh, okay. Great. This move using enormous amount of power. And then Makahita jumped into the fucking ceiling of the building. Oh, thank you! You made my day! I finally go inside. Want you coming for a snack? Sounds suspicious. Oh. Hey! What is this thing? Please, Ranger, catch it! It's a Venomoth. Hurry, oh, hurry! Do something about the Pokemon! Well, it's literally on top of me, so don't worry about it. I'm on top of this! Or maybe the Venomoth is. Okay. Imagine Bucky had his play make a hole in Rufy. He's a fine type. He probably could just smash through the floors. Huh. Oh, I see. Wow, he's worth a lot. The more valuable Pokemon, you really should try to get the extra capture lines, because it's really quite a bit of experience at that point. Venomoth! Or, I'm sorry, Venomat. Nat. I, I don't know why I keep saying Venomoth. <laughs> because that's what it inevitably becomes. Venomap hops about while scattering puffs of poison mist. How rude. Now the appointment, now the apartment needs to be aired out. <laughs> finally, oh finally, I could have been living my dream of living in the city. Thank you, Ranger. <laughs> in real life, bugs, you need to, you need to put poison in your, po you need to spread poison fog in your apartment to deal with bugs. In Pokemon, bugs spread poison fumes in your apartment against you. <laughs> Soviet Russia. I'm sorry, but I'm just not good at all with that Pokemon. Can you let it go, please? Yeah, let's just put it- let's just let it release it right in your apartment again. <laughs> Why not? I didn't expect anything like this just as soon as I moved here. But I'm not gonna let that get me down. I'm keeping my head up with a positive attitude. The Venomat is now in your- it's now in your ventilation system. It just jumped into an open vent. It'll probably come by again when you're in the middle of sleeping. Just let you know, bye! <laughs> Who's it here? Squirtle! It makes me happy to have a young person like you come calling. I'm just hoping for someone to talk to. In the last little while, the tap water has been taken on a rather unpleasant order. The water is famous for being so clean the Pokemon could live there. It's very odd. <laughs> well, there's your problem! Pokemon are living there! Probably crap in the water or something. Oh, you have to leave already? Oh, I'm sorry to see you go, but go you must! After all, it's your job! What is the logic there? This waterworks is so clean the Pokemon live there. That doesn't 
Wouldn't that not make it less clean? Just saying. Just gotta watch her sleep. Yep. But trolling is hard work, isn't it? People ask you for help of all sorts of silly things, don't they? The people of this town rely a little too much on rangers. Oh my god, look at this radical guy here. He looks like Where's Waldo in his in his radical, uh, cool dude uh, teenage years. <laughs> guy in glasses. Aha! It was tough using the stairs to get to the third floor, wasn't it? You can hide all you want. Your face shows obvious fatigue. I mean, look at him. Waldo in his teen years, dude. Or college years. Waldo in his college years. There you go. How the hell tall is this? Okay, that's all. Is there a reason to come here? That's <laughs> Tulsi. <laughs> Very gross. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. There's something really fucking weird about this. Every staircase is to the left of the next one. That doesn't make any sense. You think you'd come down the side you're on and then go down the side you're not on, but no. That that place has a temporal has a temporal has a temporal mystery going on with it. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Yes you, Ranger there! My adorable and also lovable skinny has run away from Mumpsy Wumpsy! Please, oh pretty, please, run up my little pretties, run away! You know, skinny, don't you? You could solve the sickly split. You're a ranger after all. Skinny. Oh, what a pretty skinny! Oh, it's so cutesy wootsy! I hate this person. Yes, yes, it's this Pokemon. My little pretties are just like this! Now, Shushu, run around now! Please, pretty, please, bring my lovely, lovely skinny back to me! You have to do it now! Bring my lovely, dummy skinny! If you don't know where my sweet little little skinny is, you can come ask me. I'll wait for you near the ranger base. Don't you dare fail! Okay. Can you tase her, please? I'm not that sort of officer, I'm sorry to say. Oh, Makahita's just gone. I guess because he was for a quest, I suppose. That's why. Whoa, what is wrong with your eyes, skinny? Those are some weird eyes you got going there, bud. All right, let's go after him. Oh. Machoke. Tch, keep that noise down, Machoke. What a useless Pokemon. Hello. Hey, you. What do you think you're doing here? Get lost if you're not authorized. This street is open to anyone. Huh? You feel sorry for the Machoke? What's it to you? What do we do with our Pokemon now? You're stinking business. <laughs> Don't do much already. You're gonna get lost if you're not authorized. You're an eyesore. He's sad. Don't make him sad. Hi, Skitty. I'm gonna traumatize you. Don't mind me. Let me just hit this tree. Actually, this might be what I have to do. Okay, no, that wasn't what I had to do. All right, hello. This tree's a Skitty. Okay, what's to do? Does it do? Oh, wait, it wants to go for the thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Skinny. Boop. Skinny playfully hops about if it spots this capture disc. It adorably waves its tail. Very good. Do the skinnies have any abilities? They do not. I could use another tackle. Feels some normal type bias here. There are a lot of normal types, to be fair. Actually, a lot of city kind of Pokemon are normal types, thinking about though. Oh, Makahita is still around. Well, let me get another one of them then. Makahita doesn't move fast enough to be really a problem. The slower Pokemon is, the easier it is to catch, really. 
Stream's not working for me right now. That's weird. I can just release Skitty. Well, no. I'm, it's fine. Let's see, where was the ranger station? Over here, I think. No. It's directly underneath me. Wait, I thought the lady said she'd be by the ranger station. There she is. Oh, where were you? My pretty witty skitty! Your mumsy wumsy was so lonely! You're doing much better than I thought you would! I'm still busy for skitty though! Please, oh please, keep looking for skitty! I love how NPCs are like, please find my Pokemon, but let me avoid telling you important details like what they are or how many I'm, I need. But yeah, no, it's fine. Just like, don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. Oh, <laughs> you're not a plush. Sneaky. He was hiding amongst the plushes. Damn it. Skitty, please. Yeah, he just goes for wherever it is. Damn. Damn it, I'm actually just trying to capture a little bit. Skitty, please. Holy shit. It's okay, Smasher. It happens a lot. People have this happen. Also, that's number 151. We'll go a little further, though, because I'm not quite done here. We're going to finish the mission, probably. Who would have thought it? A real skinny, high amongst plushes. Kind of cute story that makes some people feel all fuzzy and warm inside. Is there a little Pokemon? I couldn't tell at all. Skinny was very good at staying still, I guess. The 151 goal has been met, but let's go a little further since I'm not done with this mission. We'll end this when the mission is ended, too. Three more. Sizes are the reason behind the dill types as well. Makes sense. They're behind it all. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Well, there's that one. That explains why they can go to the roof. And back here? No? I would have sworn you could find one back here, but alright. I think the one thing that brings this game down is the fact you can't run. This feels like it could really use a, a hack, where it, just a hack that lets you run. That'd be pretty sweet. Um... Where could I find the artwork of Tucker? Well, I don't really have a location for artwork like that. You can find the artwork, uh, you can find a lot of Poker Roll artwork on the Poker Roll server. Yeah, the areas are big enough that walking speed doesn't quite cut it. <laughs> I gotta check each room just to make sure there's no skinny in any of them. All right, to the roof. I had a video card issue. What about it? <laughs> no worries. <laughs> okay.
I believe if I reset this... No? Yes. Okay, we're good. Hmm. I can't push your video card off the table. That is metaphorically what occurred. One moment. Yeah, sometimes, uh, I don't know why my... I th I, actually, I think I do know. Oh my goodness. The other did not like me helping Task Manager for a moment. Alright, hold on. I think what happens is my avatar program sometimes crashes my video card. Briefly. Only for a moment. I don't know why. It just does sometimes. I think I blame my video. I blame the avatar program because it's the only thing that permanently crashes and has to be ended in task manager when this happens. So I think Video Tube Mini is unstable in some way and does this sometimes. Anyways, we're, we're back, except for the whole fact that you can see my thing in the back. It's fine. There. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Are we good? I think we're good. It's like clockwork. At the moment I actually have enough captures, he tries to pounce and break it. Yeah, at least I figured out how to deal with it most times. It's really not that big a deal. It's... oh. Just a moment. I think it also crashed my webpage or... <laughs> webpage thing. Just a moment. Yeah, okay, it did cra I think it broke that as well. Hold on a minute! Uh... Eh. There, now I fixed it. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Why it's so abusive to look at the Pokemon watching your size going spit while spitting? <laughs> what? Look at the Pokemon watching your size going wild spitting? What's spitting? Oh, oh, when I spit- oh, Skitty actually follows my stylus movement with his eyes? I didn't actually notice that. I get it. I bet there's a Skitty over here now, isn't there? No? I really would have thought that one of these would have had one in him. Okay, well. Alright, whatever. I give up on these trash cans. I see, I see Krasovs. <laughs> I'm too busy spinning the stylus to pay attention to what they're exactly doing, I think. Alright, so I have like three skinny. I have one of them in my I have one of them right now. There's two more oh there's one right there. Is that a Corsola, pi Corsola pitch? No, that's Mew! Ooh, that's a Mew picture. Yeah, it's Mew in a force-filled bubble in, in above the stratosphere in space. Is this a Pokemon Snap reference? That's kind of interesting. That looks very much like the place you fight him in Pokemon Snap. <laughs> God damn it, Skitty. Damn it, Skitty! No! Stop jumping! Uh. Okay, well, there's, uh, there's one more Skitty somewhere. By the way, if you look at the other screen, you can see that there's a 5, 6, and 7 slot that are blocked off. So I assume later in the game you can actually have up to 7 Pokémon. Uh, you can capture up to 7. Which is nice, because I have to say, the limit of 4 feels a little limiting. So having the option to capture more later would be nice. Okay, so there's still one Skitty at large. 
Where are they? Oh, maybe at the harbor. All right. Shows a very annoying place to land. Be honest, if you're if you're curious about Tucker art, I just I recommend. Oh, that was close. I let go at just the right time. If you want to see Tucker art, I recommend going to the Poker Roll server. What level is my capture thing, anyways? It is. Let's see. How are we close? 452 to 550. So we're getting to the next level. Oh, and you can see actually at the bottom here, or you can see on, on this screen over here, uh, you can see one, two. So this must be our rank, our, our rank within the Ranger Society thing. So we're, we just got rank two. There's looks like there's a, it goes up to rank ten. It looks like. And also we have a Ranger ID. That's interesting. Now, what if that's a unique number for each player, much like one's you know ID in the main series? Does this game have? Actually, does Pokemon Ranger here? Does it have online features? It was the DS. It could have had online connectivity features that maybe took advantage of your ID. I don't know. I am not certain. I cannot ascertain this. Really, though, I'm just capturing it because I want the experience. <laughs> so the best experience is probably Ludicolo, actually. If you want to, you could technically grind your stylus levels if you want. Styler levels if you want. The best way to do it probably is here, honestly. Oh, I got both of them in battle. Oh, shoot. Can I manage that? Maybe. I don't think I can. Oh, they're attacking at different times. That's not gonna work out. What do you do, anyways? One capture loop drawn using this poke is the same as making two regulars. Yes, do it. Damn it, that was my opportunity. Oh no! It broke. Now what? I was actually wondering what would happen if that happened. Oh, everybody runs away. <laughs> so I gotta recapture the skinny now. Would you like to resume? Wait, resume from where you saved? Do you mean like... Did I like lose progress? Like, does that actually, well, is, I figured it'd be a, you know, charm whited out situation where, wait, does that make you lose progress? That's not clear. Oh my God. What does that mean for the captures I made? Look, I just looked up. We don't have skinny in the list. This is before I did the skinny stuff. It actually makes you lose pro- that's interesting. I didn't realize this game was that hardcore, actually. So, uh, do I- No, I- you know, I think I still count the captures, right? I just won't- hmm. I mean, I made the captures on screen either way. How would I- how would I uncount them anyways? That sounds like a bit of a mess. You can save before you battle. Save like before but you reset if you fell. Uh huh. Let's see. Well, I mean, I don't know what St. Baldrick's would prefer in this situation, but I'm just gonna leave them there. I don't know what else to do in that situation. Wow, you legitimately just lose progress. 
I'm kind of impressed, actually. I didn't expect the Pokemon game to be that hardcore. It's like forcing a Nuzlocke on you or something. It's, it's working like a traditional RPG. Did you die in Final Fantasy VI? Well, go back to your save point. You know, it's, it's kind of like that. Interesting. But yeah, what do you guys think that means for all the whole Pokemon caught thing? Regardless, I put in the effort, I just lost progress. So, keep counting? They did not state in their instructions what to do in a situation like this. I already sent them because I got them. I'm just gonna keep counting, whatever. Capturing's capturing. Actually, yeah, capturing is capturing. Now you think about it, if somebody was playing Arceus Legends, because that's the most convenient game to catch Pokemon in. If somebody was playing Arceus Legends, yeah, you can't you can literally not take it back on the app. If you add something to the app, it's added to the app. So I don't think lost project progress should count. I think the sheer effort of catching things is all that really matters for the for the event. Because, like, if I were to say capture a bunch of Pokemon Arceus Legends and then just choose not to save... It's not the saving that counts for capturing. It's the capturing. So... Yeah. It's fine. Just keep counting, just keep going. I guess I'll redo that mission in a minute. Let me get my experience back, though. Won't take very long. All I need to do is catch Ludicolo over and over again. And then we'll just get a bunch of skitties. Oh, yeah. Probably should hit that button. I'm mostly annoyed at the experience, because I actually might come back to this if you guys are enjoying this. I don't know, are you guys enjoying Pokemon Ranger? Because I could continue this past today if so. Which is why I care about the experience. <laughs> I... Okay, you know what? YOLO. I, just, I won't get myself killed. I can always run away, I just haven't done that. It's a lot harder to draw that many lines. Ow. I think this is basically impossible unless you, like... Do you... I think when there's two Pokemon, you do need a Poke Assist in that situation. If they stay next to each other, I can't- I can't possibly capture them. Oh, I had them, though. Okay, fine. Alright, flee. Oh, wait, to flee, you still have to, like... Hold on a second. This is actually kind of tricky. You gotta circle... There's two ways to escape this battle. That's the easiest way. Yeah, I cannot handle two Ludicoles. That's a little too insane, yo. Wait, what have I done? <laughs> And what I mean by that statement is... Oh god, I don't even know which Pokemon I've caught now. Let's see, let's go over the list of all the Pokemon I've seen in town so far. Figure out which ones I've caught, which ones I haven't. Do I have Krabby at this point in the game? No, apparently. So I need to capture Kra Krabby and Wingull back at the... So this was before I went to the port. This is quite a ways back then.
Was this before the apartment mission? Oh wait, I can answer that question easily. Yeah, I think it was. Holy shit. I lost a lot of progress. <laughs> Kissy Art says, thanks for playing my game alone. Every feedback in your video is annotated. And yep, I'm Brazilian. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed. Let's see. Thanks for coming by, too. Sorry for the sound glitches. Hold on a second. Also, yeah, Brazil gig. We actually have a lot of people here from Brazil. But, uh, yeah, no problem, dude. I, I, I didn't, like, obviously, I wasn't a big fan of it so far, but it's just a very, I think it's just because of how early it is. I'm interested to see where you're going to take the mission, though. Obviously, that was just a very early tech demo. It was very obvious. I wish you luck on it. Okay, let's let's get our progress back, and by that I basically mean catch Krabby. Yeah, see, register the data, so I didn't have that before. Wow. I lost a lot of progress. <laughs> Goodness me. Oh, whoops, my bad. Oh yeah, Winkle sucks, right. <laughs> There are some Pokemon I don't really want to capture more than once. <laughs> because they're just that much of a pain and not worth it. I beat this game when I was a kid, I didn't have much fun. I think it's I think you need to really consider how you're playing the game. And it looks like having healing Pokemon is bigger than I thought. I didn't realize this had a traditional flow of well. If you lose, you start from where you left, up, like, from back when, you know? Back when you last saved. That's pretty brutal. Let's see, I have Snubbles. Do I have Makahita yet? Actually, it doesn't really matter, because I need one regardless. <laughs> I think I'm caught up after that, though. There he is. Let's finish this dang old mission, then. I do have a save state button for almost all the emulators, but I was not using them. I felt like I felt like they went against the spirit of the charity event. Um. Oh, quick save, yes. Isn't it one of those quick saves that... Yeah, I thought so. It's one of those, like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, where you could save any time in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, but if you're trying to fucking save scum, it's not going to help you. Yeah, I figured. Whenever there's a quick save option in the game, I basically ignore it, because if it's, if there's like a normal save and a quick save, the quick save's just there if you need to like shut down the game. So, yeah. I've learned at this point. Yep, see, and then ask if I want to resume, so. It's not, yeah, it's not saying you can use the save scum. As I expected. Yep, let's do the apartment thing again. <laughs> At least I know how to make this efficient this time. In fact, let's break the game. She wants- listen, she wants me to walk up to her, talk to her about the box, and then fix the box issue. What if I do this off screen? Like this. What if I fix the box issue, box issue before I talk to her? There. I did it. Oh. She just immediately- oh wow, they actually considered that. She- they considered if I- Fix the, if I dealt with the box before talk, before approaching her. Because normally I approach her, she talks to me, and then I fix the box thing. I thought I would break something there. That was interesting. Good enough.
Oh, I forgot to hit capture the last one too, by the way, so there. But yeah, I could use save states, but somehow the music sounds good. If I recall correctly, this series has very good music and it keeps getting better of each game, I think, or something. Bye. Now for the skinny mission. Now remember, I need four of them. Let's get this done quickly. Hmm. You know, what if I said what if I said no to her? I think that I think I'd be I think that would be a bad idea though. She seems to be a crazy cat lady. <laughs> and the process of that conversation somehow a skinny exists on the roof now. I don't even know how that happened. Like, how did it end up there in that time period? At least Skitty is basically harmless. He can't really hurt you. Alright, anybody remember where all the Skitties are? I know there's one in the research... In the, near the research lab place, or whatever that factory is. There's just one just kind of hanging out, if I recall. Just like in the middle of town. Yeah, I think it's here. Actually, wait. There's also one... not this house. One's high in amongst plushies. Forget what building that is. Yeah, this really needed a run button. It's like the one thing I'm noticing. We seem so leisurely in our pace, like we don't really have anywhere important to get to. Which is kind of not accurate to our jobs, I'd say. Nope. Now you're gonna mess around with that. Leisurely saving the world. Oops, didn't mean to go that way. Okay, and then there's just one in the middle of the road, but there's- that's still- I'm still missing one after that. No, wait. Am I? How many are missing? Five or four? I don't remember, actually. Wait, what? Why is this? Okay. Well, I do have a Meowth. Apparently, I- wow, this is before I broke the fence, even? Goodness me. Interestingly, we have the, the Skitty here. Huh. We didn't see this cutscene last time because I already had the fence broken. Talk to the Bachoke to get some data, and then fight the Skitty. And capture. Wait. Hold that thought. Oh, 
Huh. I don't think that's Skitty registered. I think I have to hit it again. There we go. Did I advance that twice at some point? I don't think I did. I think I'm still accurate. It's really hard to keep track of this. I hope in the future St. Baldrick's Catchability event will involve some sort of auto tracker that simply watches your stream because that would be a lot more convenient than having to manually input a number every time. Now let's see. Have I got an off count? I don't think I have. Here's another skitty. There's the other one I was thinking of. Did I ever- I didn't get off count at any point, did I? Did anybody- did anybody notice any issues with my count? I think I'm good. Yeah, I think I'm good. If I'm not, just somebody put tell me, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Now to return all these skitties. This little army. <laughs> Here we go. Still missing one, yeah. I don't know where the last one is. Maybe it's in here, actually. Did I lose my audience because it got late? Nobody's really talking besides Krasov's dad. Nope, it's not here. Okay, so I got the one on the roof, I got the one height as a plushie, I got the one next to the factory, I got the one just in the middle of the frickin' road. It's okay, we're gonna end pretty soon, but if you guys help me out, we'll end a little faster. So where's the last one? Where, where's the last- you know, actually, I should probably grab it. Now that I know that you can literally lose progress, I should probably keep an electric type on me. It's kind of a good idea, actually, to have some healing on your hands. Alright, 167. This game is definitely a lot easier to catch Pokemon in than the pinball games. I feel like I've looked at Stubble, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I've tried to capture him, but he keeps running towards me. Uh, I just don't know. Where is the last skitty? Nope. I don't mind scavenger hunts up until the point where it becomes hard to find the last thing. Then it becomes annoying. I don't think he's at all at the port. I've checked everywhere around here. That's a pretty long day, yeah. That's a really long day. Why did you work such a long shift? Ah, oh, bugger, I didn't mean to fight both of them. Not gonna die, don't worry. Just trying to get this. Also, I'm trying to split the mop. It... This feels kind of impossible. Also, yikes. Next to what Parker said. There, I got them both to attack at the same time, but... It's just too slow to try to capture both of them. I have to do these huge lines, it doesn't work. Circle both at the same time once so they sink. I could. 
but they still move too much. <laughs> Definitely, I, I it's, 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 you get 46, I think, for, is that right? Yeah, 46 for one. Maximum XP possible. wonder how much you get for two. Maximum XP possible. I wonder what the multiplayer is. Damn it. Still kind of hard to do quickly enough. Think I can take one more hit? Mm -hmm. Ugh. Three charm. I, I'll do it. Smaller attacks, then whatever. Good. Good enough. Better than dying. Oh, I forgot to add two, right? There we go. I mean, I have a hunch where a skinny might be, but I don't- I literally don't actually know where to go at this point. Oh, Peach could totally kill me, I just realized. <laughs> Unlikely to, but... He does attack. There, he's getting a little bit of a recharge. Okay. So my thinking is that the skinny is on in the- oh. Well, that trash cat meowed, so... Let me hold on a second. Oh, come here. I thought there would be a visual indicator if they were saying the trash cat. Apparently not. That's kind of mean. That means that if you don't inspect the trash can after getting the skitty quest, you will never know. But at least I gotta, at least if I late, it, it does meow, so that's important. I actually thought about the trash cans, it's just that I hit them a whole bunch earlier and nothing happened. So I figured that if there was something in it, I would see some sort of indicator. 171? Oh yeah, true, actually. Good point. <laughs> now it's supposed to be 172. There, that's the last one. Got Peach to stumble. And this one. Fair enough. I see your point. Can you just release? Yeah. Alright. Uh, now... I want to get my status level back up because I still have a whole bunch of experience I lost. I have caught up a bit, but... There. I don't think I can capture two of these at the same time. They... Ah, oh, bugger. Let me just capture one is a little tricky. Because they take a lot of capture lines, if you notice. There. All right, I'm gonna save just in case. Now nah, it's fine. <laughs> I know now how. I listen. The only reason I even let it happen the last time is because I didn't expect a very strong punishment. I didn't expect it to be that brutal. I didn't expect. To lose progress, so I didn't really care. Now I care, so. 
All right, there we go. I basically caught up now. Let's finish off the level then. This game, I mean, I don't mind the fact that it does that now that I know. I think the thing that annoys me about the whole losing progress thing is that for all the game's asinine tutorials it's done up to this point telling me really basic information or really obvious information, the one thing... I always notice this with games that tutorialize too much. Games that have way too many tutorials, they always do the same thing, and that is they will give you tutorial information on everything you can figure out on your own but always leave out something actually kind of important that you could actually use as a tip. Such as, by the way, if your capture rod breaks, you might lose progress, is kind of something the tutorial could have said, and that would have been actually useful information, but it didn't do that. <laughs> it did say that, oh no, don't break your capture, that's bad. But it didn't say how bad. It didn't say how it was bad. It didn't indicate that you would literally lose progress <laughs> if you had that break. That is an example of why the tutorial of this game sucks. It tells you everything that's basic, nothing that's actually important. So, yeah. Hell yeah, though. Break your rod the game, break your rod in real life. That sounds bad. Line, by the way, the big thing, in addition to in addition to extra energy, so leveling up is actually really important because this is, treat this like a traditional RPG. You get more HP and defense, maybe you won't game over and have to reload your save. So, leveling up your styler, it does that. To be perfectly honest with you, I could sit here and grind the styler level, but that'd be really boring. But I could. These Ludicolos gives a fair amount. Look, it's 650 to the next level. Each Ludicolo gives about 45. So, that's not long at all. I could just keep sitting here catching Ludicolo until I have a really high stylus level style level for this for this area. And then then I then I can make the rest of the game a little bit easier because I have the higher HP mounts, you know. I mean, look, I'm up to 12 now. Some questionable encounters after seeing you struggle with two Liticolo. Oh, uh, some forced two Pokemon encounters that become real bullshit, I imagine? Because, yeah, I was thinking about that. The game's probably going to force me into situations where I have to have two Pokemon to fill, and I gotta capture them. I could capture them individually, though, right? So that's a good thing, at least. Like, I don't need to capture them together. I can capture them separately in the fill. Though that would probably still be difficult. Three Pokemon encounters. Yeah, that sounds like a clusterfuck. <laughs> Two already felt like a clusterfuck, honestly. Remember a weird problem with leveling these games that increase your line length, so it means enemies can hit the line in the line sometimes where I didn't before. Oh, I was noticing that actually. I was noticing that just now. Um sometimes I noticed I noticed my line was um sticking like the tail end like the starting end of my line was just kind of sitting there being annoying sometimes, so yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I, I, I was gonna save, but then I realized I'm gonna save in a minute anyways, so. There you go, have have your skitties. One, two, three, four, five, and six! Oh, my lovely wubbly skitty, you're all back with Mumsy Wumsy! Now aren't you good? Mumsy Wumsy is very much impressed. Thank you, sweetie. Hooray! You know, I now realize why the skitties seem to have the eyes... Look at their eyes sometimes. Their eyes are just like... I have seen the end of the world. Like... Oh, my precious, precious skitty! You must give Mumsy Wubsy a scare like that again! Now that let's go home! Line up single file! They actually do? You're getting cats to line up single file? That's how you know she scares them. If cats are willing to go in sing... Why is that one just in the wrong position, though? If cats are willing to go in single file, that means those cats have the, the fear of God struck into them. Cats don't obey that much normally. <laughs> An obedient cat is a scared cat. I'm sorry. Okay, unless they're just really friendly cats, but otherwise. Oh, I'm not done, by the way, apparently. I said I would clear this mission, and then we'd end the stream, so... I guess I continue on a little bit longer. What's next? This is a really long mission. It's basically three missions, I guess. Hi, what do you need? 
You're charm, right? One of I'm one of Professor Hastings' assistants. I know you're very busy, but we need help at the lab. Can you come with me, please? Lab is this way. Sure. How long is this mission, though? I'm I'm following. This is Professor Hastings' lab. Please follow me. Okay. Charm, please, may I ask you for your help? I need to find something in the basement, but it's pitch black down there. It's impossible to look for anything. I asked the professor for some advice, so he told me I should look you up, Charm. Please help me. Could you just need to light up the inky darkness of my basement? That's great. Thank you so much. By the way, the professor asked me to pass on a message to you. These are exact words. In the lighthouse's basement lives some Pokemon named Staryu. Get the help of the Staryu to illuminate whatever it's too dark to see. That was the professor's message. Please capture a Staryu and bring it here. Okay. Hey, uh, Plussy. Or, I'm sorry, Minen. Hey, uh, you don't matter, apparently. Despite the fact you're literally an electric type, we're not going to use you to light up the basement. Sorry. Um, uh, I guess. Minen, Minen is apparently chopped liver today. I asked the professor for some advice, and he told me to get something called a flashlight. <laughs> That's basically what was said here. To be fair, Minen learns like three electric attacks. Really, that's it? Actually, yeah, Minen's, Minen and Plussy, their main focus is teaming up together for double battles, isn't it? Oh, look, I was like, where is the lighthouse? Zerlax that was here woke up and wandered off somewhere. Let's finally clear the way for people to get the lighthouse basement. This is the lighthouse basement? It's, it's kind of like, kind of seems like the the pier's basement. Oh my god, it's Super Mario. Oh my god, Staryu wants a piece of my me. Holy shit. Super Mario Brothers pipes, but also Staryu is out for blood. Oh my goodness, Staryu. Staryu, wow, okay, chill. Sup, dude? Oh, okay, that's what you do. Okay, I see. So you do a spin attack, but it lasts a long time, so I gotta be very careful. Staryu. So he has the field move of Flash. Why star you though? I guess he does though. Wait, does star you learn flash? I suppose. Sorry, you attacked while spinning its body. Take care not to touch it then. If you use plus all mining, you get a battery. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you would. What are all these machines here for? No, not yet. This area is already lit. What's interest? Oh, <laughs> they can't climb ladders. Well, bye guys, enjoy the uh, sewer basement, bye. How is this the lighthouse's basement? Wouldn't you assume that the lighthouse's basement would be under the lighthouse? This isn't under the lighthouse. The lighthouse is like, where is the light? The lighthouse is over here. This is so weird. Sorry, he's a ninja star, he is. He also goes, hi-ya! Cause he's also a karate bastard. Stubble, I'm not trying to capture you. <laughs> Wait, where is the base? Where is the lab? Oh, I get lost so easily. Yeah, this is right. Oh, what is that Pokemon? It's Staryu, like you asked. <laughs> that must be a Staryu. You don't even know. You're a professor's assistant. A professor's assistant. Assistant, rather. And you don't know what a starfish is. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Easy to do. Just touch Staryu. You use its ability to cast light. You can see certain kinds of Pokemon. You can see you see certain kinds of Pokemon field moves can be used by having a specific. I cool. Please take that Staryu to the basement. Touch your... To be fair, at least the tutorials are getting more brief. I should never have talked to you twice. All right, bye. <laughs> it's not even that dark in here. I can see just fine. Alright, hey, start you. Okay, thanks for the flashbang. Jeez, right in my face. Oh my goodness, it's almost too, even too bright now. We'll be easy to find things. Thank, Charm, thank you so much for helping. How do you think a persistent light source... Ex how do you think a Pokemon can do a flash attack, leave, and that, and that light is still there? How does that work? It's like a persistent energy or something. 
Uh, start over here, stuff in that here. Sort of a sprite in here, but now I'm overwhelmed by the sheer volume of paperwork down here. Let's see, it's all day on the footprints of Pokemon. Over here are records of Pokemon cries. It might be lying here, but it's still not easy to find the necessary data out of this material. Footprints? I guess Beerus wrote those articles. Purple burns an image of the environment into your memory. Oh, it's like a static image, but you think it, you perceive it as like the room is lit up. Hi. Huh? What are you supposed? What do you suppose you're doing here? Oh, everyone's gone out of town, so you got the mission patrolling Falls City. I get it. There's a save of Merchant Young now because of that Gold Rock Squad. And a rookie like you would be too inexperienced for a tough mission like investing in the Gold Rock Squad. Oh, did I say something rude? Don't let it bother you, Char. Okay, you're mean, I guess. Hmm. Wait, did you hear something? Sound like it came from the clock tower. Don't just stand there. Come with me. Uh, oh, okay. It's the mat choke. Totally not a villain. Oh, yeah, she is. I think she is. Why is that mat choke rampaging? Listen, you can go catch a mat choke. I want to see how good you are. I think it's just rude, actually. Hi, are you about to capture that Pokemon? Well, aren't I lucky? I get to see a live capture. It's causing violence. That's a matchup going wild. Clock tower's gonna be wrecked! Someone do something! <coughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow, he can do that a long, long time. The same is difficult. <laughs> Got him. I could have gone for extra, but eh. It's not necessary. A choke. 52 on the lowest. I bet it would have gone up to like 92 or something. The choke takes pride in its strong body. It has no trouble crushing big boulders. <laughs> but not really, really big boulders. Only two sized boulders, not three sized though. You did it! Thank you, Ranger. You're really cool. That was fantastic. That was the first time I've ever seen a capture. That Machoke quieted down completely from his out control rampage. Wow, I'm lucky I've seen that. Okay, you know, I think the whole capture thing that Rangers can do is kind of like a Pokeballs, but without the possession element. A Pokeball not only tames a Pokemon, but or calms them down, but also more or less tames them. Yeah, tames them is a good word for it. Like they become your partner and stuff. You can use them in battle, they're yours. It feels like the capture style styler is more like kind of has kind of works a little bit like a Pokeball in the sense that it ca does catch the Pokemon and it does calm them down, but it's not actually taming them. You know, there are still wild Pokemon after it. Interesting when you think about it. Yeah. Oh, Ranger, well done. The city symbol was in peril. That's a mission clear. I was wondering when... So, the, this mission required four giant missions. Jeez. That was a so-so capture, but I can't figure out why the Machoke would go wild like that. The Machoke should settle down when it returns to its familiar surroundings. You should release it now. Pfft, it went to sp That one definitely went to space. Jeez Louise, they always go to space. That one just went straight angle to space, that one. It wasn't even hopping. Why don't you go back to the ranger base for time? He's, Machoke's like, whatever, I'll just wreck the moon. I'm like you. I have to investigate the Gorok squad, so I'll leave you here. Oh yeah, then why are you doing? Well, then why aren't you doing that? And why are you throwing shade at me and picking on a new r rookie recruit rather than actually doing your investigation? Get out of here and stop being a bitch. <laughs> that ranger. It's the same stoop who was sniffing around the factory earlier. But that darn machoke. Darn thing ran off without paying attention to me. Plus, it couldn't even wreck that creaky old clock tower. How pathetic is that? As we all know, Pokemon are from space. Well, certainly, certainly Clefairy. Done. Ish. Welcome back. A good job. This is false city. We're very happy with your work. You perfectly understood the Rangers' role in society, and you worked hard to live up to it. Charm, you've earned a promotion. I hereby certify you as Ranger Rank 3. Wow, I'm really going through the ranks now. So every time I complete a mission, do I get a rank up? It feels like that's how it works. I guess fair enough. 
I can use poison Pokemon, it says. Great! Hey, Ray, I've learned the ability to slowly poison people. Can I use Psychic Pokemon, Poke, it says. Cool. Charm, that's your rank 3. I need to tell you something. New segment is add your studies partner gauge when you reach ranks 3, 5, 7, and 9. Tell the truth, all starters have a 5 segment partner gauge to begin with. We cap the number of segments of the partner gauge to avoid putting too much stress on the partner Pokemon. Your partner mine has grown so much stronger being with you, so it can handle more pressure. Let me remove the first cap. You're now authorized to operate your style of a two-segment partner gauge. Okay, cool. I kind of forget to use that a lot, but hey. Good, I can store more up now. You've been handling jobs one after another since prof escorting Professor Hastings. Sure you're not too tired? <laughs> Did he just, like, crash into me? Leader, we got a situation on the boil down in the waterworks. The aqueducts are supposed to be absolutely clean, but they're overflowing with horrible sludge! And it's never supposed to happen, so I went to investigate. What are you? What do I find? The place is crawling with Grimer! Leader, I'm begging you. We need help! You've got to do something, and the spell is future down there! <laughs> Mr. Silva Engineer from the Waterworks Bureau. You've come to the right place. Let me use your full title at all times. I'll send out a range of- Like, you don't have a name! You have a title! You are not- You are but a number in the system! Steve? I've never heard of that, Mr. Civil Engineer of the Waterworks Engineering. I'll sit out a ranger of the Waterworks right away. <laughs> I need to ride a sea leader. You catch up fast. Thing is, we never had Grimer show up in the Waterworks ever before. We can't figure it out. So I thought maybe the rangers could do something about him. I'll run a long way outside, and depending on you, leader. It seems that there's no end to the troubles affecting our city. Unfortunately, Fall City is an acute shortage of rangers because of the ongoing Gorok Squad investigation. I know. You told me this. In fact, Ra Charm, you're the only ranger who's free, so you don't get a choice in this matter. You must accept this mission. Aren't I on loan from the from the Spring City, for the Ring City uh, Ranger Station? I, can you really order me around that much? Of course, you're, you're already aware that it's the ranger's role, so you don't ever get to refuse anyway. I guess it's one of those things where it's like multiple chapters and they're all kind of in charge of you. I don't know. So this is your mission. Crap capture the Grimer that have overrun the waterworks. Also, the capture Grimer to be turned over to the ranger to a ranger who is necessarily trained for the role. Charm, you're the one and only ranger that Fall City can count on now. Okay. I do feel like the game is dropping the tutorial aspects, though. Which is good. Like, it's getting, it's being a little more... You work for the government. Effectively. Wait, do, do park rangers work for the government, technically? Hey, ranger, over this way. Yeah, fam, I'll be there in a second. I just want to check something. Capture right the wrong works. It's prop priority. There's no time to waste on a side trip. Oh shit, I can't grind Lud Ludicolo. I was gonna I was gonna off-stream grind Ludicolo. <laughs> I guess I'm not allowed to now. Sup. Here's the Oh wait, here's down the arcs. He usually doesn't think anything like this. Erp. Okay, I, though I was told about a weird little feature I could do. I can't retire the mission, apparently. Alright. I'm not entirely sure the Pokemon world has a government. That's a good question, actually. Because there's police, there's even a space program in some. Oh, a text message, okay. We're supposed to the charm. I've heard the latest for Joel. You might be intimidated being in a familiar city, but I'm sure you'll quit yourself fine. Both Joel and I are too busy with the Gorok Squad investigation to do anything else. What's important for you is to not worry about the Gorok Squad. You need to take on missions, gain experience. That's why I went out. also want you to go out on the Grimer mission. Make me proud. Am I not allowed to leave? Yeah, the game is pretty painfully linear, isn't it? Yeah, very much so. Alright, well, I guess I gotta hit a save point in here. Hold on. I like how it told me how I can retire, like I can actually like cancel missions. Oh, now I can. What do you mean start? What does this do? Cool. Did I escape the mission? Nope. <laughs> what's, okay, what's the point of retiring the mission if it doesn't free me up to explore? Because it doesn't, by the way. All that did is just restart it. So. That's kind of weird, man. Alright, whatever. I Yeah, that's kind of my impression, too, what Hyper said. There probably is a government, but it's not really brought up because Pokemon is still considered a children's game series, you know? So they don't really get into it. Weren't there some straight-up embassies and stuff in some of the games? 
I didn't play them, but I feel like XY had an embassy for another region and stuff. Really indicating there was governmental involvement going on. False State Ranger. Plah! Stink is downright awful. I've been holding my breath. Your charm, right? I'm the Ranger. They sent down to recover the bribery capture. Glad to meet. Ugh, the stitch is getting to me. So it's even worse for the farther you go in, so I'm sorry. I'm gonna wait out here. Every time you capture a griber, I'll come right to recover and then I'll dash right back out. Oh, you're the guy with the weird foot. <laughs> Watch his foot. It's weird. I can't take it. I'm holding my breath. All right. Wuss. Oh shit, it's Toad Dial. Cairo shows up and now Brooks here. All right. Oh shit. Wait, how did I miss? How did he not? That one attack should have hit my thing, but it didn't hit my thing. My line. <laughs> I really should call it a night, though. Totodile! Totodile powerfully splits wands of water! It may squirt them in succession. It does. I noticed that. Oh, I've got a save point. Just what I was looking for. We'll stop here. Please do take care. I want—I really wanted to grind the mo the you know, Ludicolo, but I guess it's just not gonna let me. Maybe I could. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Fair enough then. Also, there. I'll grind the Ludicolo on stream then later, I suppose. Whenever I get back to this. Rubber hurls Bob's sludge. Also, beware the sludge trail leaves behind. I kind of figured that was a problem. Oh, I see. I gotta clear up the sludge and thus find the source of it. When you capture Griber, the sludge goes away, it looks like. I'll take the Griber, so keep at it and up. Oh, she's overpowered. I'm not gonna inhale. Alright, have fun asphyxiation, you know, over there. Brooks just vibing. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go save for realsies this time. This actually has been pretty fun. I am actually, I was definitely cut off guard by the whole, if you die, you actually go back to your last save. So saving is suddenly exceptionally important. I did not realize how important it was. Brooke is always in a constant state of vibe. <laughs> I believe that. Alright, let me, uh... Do -do 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 -do. That is also, it's also, it's also the end of the charity event, to be honest with you. It's almost midnight, so... This is a good time to stop. Huh. <sighs> but yeah, that was Pokemon Ranger, I guess, part one, if you guys want me to come back to this, which is what I said for Pokemon Pinball Mini as well. Probably will come back to both. They both seem to have a lot of potential. And I could see myself doing a Pokemon Ranger series. They may be, as some say, painfully linear, but it also means that they're smaller games. They're not as intensely involved as a normal Pokemon game. So, the Ranger series might be a nice, enjoyable, kind of more casual playthrough compared to a normal Pokemon game. I might go through them if you guys ha enjoyed this. We'll see how... See, we'll see what people think. But, um, but yeah, thanks again for joining us for this whole charity week. I'm very happy that we apparently... I'll check the numbers a little bit later, but apparently we were one of the top eight for raising money. Um... Makes me happy that we were, but also sad that there weren't more people raising more money. Uh, it's a shame. I don't think the I don't think the charity met its goal, but I hope the twenty five thousand it did get. Let's actually check that. I think it probably ticked over to twenty five k. I don't know. It doesn't instantly update. I think it updates every few hours. It's at twenty four thousand eight hundred fifty eight. So basically twenty five k or one fourth of the goal. Um, Hopefully that, hopefully even if it doesn't raise the full amount, it still goes into the research. I assume, well, obviously it should, but I hope it still can fund something meaningful and impactful with uh, ch childhood cancer research. But in any case, thank you again for joining me on these charity streams. It's been a lot of fun, uh, but this is the last one, so we'll be going back to a more normal schedule after this. Thanks again for joining in.
Thanks for supporting charity. Uh, and I'll see you guys again very soon. <laughs>